Why, good evening, everybody. Take a look at that. The game doesn't seem to be appearing. Oh, look at that. It's here now. Hi there, everybody. Good evening. My name is Cameron, and it's almost spooky day. For those who are not aware, spooky day is, in fact, Halloween, a.k.a. All Saints Day. If you aren't up to snuff on your nomenclature, that's what dictionaries are for. But no pressure. How are you all? I'm doing rather wonderful, for the most part. It was a pretty rough start to the week, I'll admit. When you come to a point in your life... And you realize you have to do things, like, better. Like, you're not, like, I'm at a point right now where I know I don't know a lot, but I want to know a lot. But I they got a long way to go, and it's a little disheartening at times, but everybody's, it's a journey for all of us, you know? We'll all get there eventually, and that's a great, great thing. I made some good strides at work today, had some fails at work today, you know? That's okay. We've all got our path. We're not actually starting this game off with a cocktail this week. I honestly completely forgot about it, but I do have something to share with the crowd. And that is, in case you don't already know about how to open like a wine bottle, I took a wine class once upon a time, and I was taught how to use one of these fancy majiggers, and I got some wine that I opened up in the fridge, so I'm just gonna pour it and share the details with y'all. So that's what we're gonna do. That's, 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 there's, there's no wrong answers here. I took a wine class once upon a time. It was kind of cool. We kind of went through all the different wine regions of the world. Not all of them, of course, but some of the big ones like France and Italy and California, Oregon specifically, at least here in America. Different types of grapes, different colors of wine, what you should look for when you try to, when you taste your wine. So I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm a, what's the term? The, 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 the term for the person, I don't know. I'm not an academic on this. I wouldn't say I'm the person to teach everyone, but this is the way I know, and if I can share that information and pass it on, then so be it. This week's wine, as opposed to last week's lack of wine, is a Arabella, Arabella Chenin Blanc, year vintage 2018, from the Western Cape of South Africa. Take a look at that wine bottle. Also, you might notice, the lighting is a little different. I actually learned a little trick the other day. For all you people out there who aren't necessarily familiar with cameras, apparently, there's an attribute on cameras called exposure, and if you turn up the brightness of your lights by a lot, like by a lot, like I feel like I'm staring into the sun right now with my light currently. But if you turn it up a hell of a lot and then just change the exposure on your camera, it'll make it look all right. I've got both of my lights on. And honestly, it's, a, it's still a little tar dark for my taste and there's not enough color, but eh, whatever. Small departure from that. Exposure, I learned that trick and it can make things look awesome. Although I will say, the frame rate on my camera looks really weird, and that might just be OBS, but I'll check that out later. Whatever. Anyway, Chenin Blanc, Arabella, from the Western Cape of South Africa, using the Chenin Blanc grape. And uh, this is how I know, how, this is how I learned how to open a wine bottle, apparently. I always thought what you're supposed to do, so to start out with, you would take the little corkscrew, and you put it right in the center, and you start twisting. Whoop, not like that. Just start, start, start twi twisting downward. Sometimes you can twist the bottle, you can twi twist the actual corkscrew. I don't think it really matters too much, although I'm sure there's, there's some technique to that. And get it, get it as far-ish. I was always under the impression that once you put it in the wine bottle, you're supposed to just pull on it and yank on it. But twice now, I have broken corks like that, and then it's just annoying to get the it's annoying to get the cork out. So apparently, with these little guys, is you're supposed to use this little cantilever. You put it on the side, and you try to match up that first little tooth there with the glass part of the bottle. So as you push it downward, it makes contact with the actual glass part. And then all you do is you pull up in that direction. Mine's already halfway out of there, so it's not gonna do much. But then you take the next one, the next little leg on there, and you just do the same thing. And pop, pop goes the weasel. That's a wine bottle that's opened. I learned that trick in my wine class. I also learned in my wine class that if you take the cork and smell it, you're doing it wrong, apparently. Um, according to my professor, Chef O'Neill, if, if you ask to smell the cork, the cork smells like cork. I'll be perfectly honest here. Kind of smells like wine. What does it smell like? I can't really tell, to be honest. I'm not that good with my smell sniffing abilities. But, uh, yeah, Chenin Blanc from South Africa in a glass. I got a big glass here. We're gonna see, can we fit the whole thing? 
We can! We're not going to, because that's not that's not the that's not the game that we play here. I was also told in my wine class that you can you kinda swirl the wine a little bit to aerate it. Depending on the shape of your wine glass, it'll kind of- they're supposedly- the wine glass is supposedly designed such that all the smells from the wine is going to collect somewhere around here for you to literally stick your nose into and be like, oh, and give that a smell. Um, I've smelled many wines now since that wine class. It was a 10-week course, and I had one wine per week. So it's usually, if it wasn't during COVID time, they would- they, what, they, they, what they would do is they would- buy wine bottle everybody would pitch in and they'd buy a wine bottle so that everybody can get a little taste of the wine every single week every single week you try a different wine from a different region of a different variety it was really cool so for covid they were like all right so we're not on the same place so you you know we don't have wine that we're going to share from a bottle like not share in the glass you everybody gets a little bit and you all sip some um but what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy three to four bottles of wine and participate in three to four out of the ten weeks so you don't have a bottle of wine every single week that you, you know, you might waste or need to get rid of or whatever. Yeah, so I was the smart aleck who was like, well, I want to try all the wines. So I bought 11 bottles of wine for this class. <laughs> In addition to like 12 bottles of wine I already had laying around because I got like one of those $100 wine vouchers. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta save $100 on wine. I still have a lot of those white wines sitting in my corner over there. If anybody knows any white wine cocktails, please. I'm all ears. I don't know many, to be perfectly honest. I can't even, actually, I can't even think of any off the top of my head. But anyway, I digress. From mixing the white wine, you might just want to drink it all on its own. I don't know much about Chenin Blanc. I don't know much about many different varietals, but I'd say, if I had to smell it, in, in classic wine snooty spot style, I'm going to swirl the wine around, and I'm going to observe, observe the legs. If you, I'm not sure if you can see it on this camera angle. It's mostly foggy, but if you swirl your wine, you'll notice like it'll come up to a certain level and drip down into little teardrops. And supposedly, you would call those legs. So if you have a very leggy wine, it's got to do with the surface tension and viscosity of your wine. I think it has a lot to do with like the sugar content in there. So supposedly, if you see really nice legs, you got a nice sugary wine. I don't see many legs on this. It just kind of looks like... This is not a very clean wine glass, I'll admit. I did not properly prepare for this. But I think... If I had to smell it... kind of smells like... Like, like... Citrus, I suppose? I would imagine if you were to take, like, a lemon and squeeze it... But also have cream right next to it, it would kind of smell like that. I imagine... I imagine that it smells kind of like you took butter that was still solid, cream that was kind of liquid, and then a lemon, and just kind of put that into a food processor. Then it will kind of smell like this. Although maybe I'm being thrown off by the refrigerator notes because it has been in there for a while. I'm not so sure. Don't take my word for it. Or maybe you should, because you're not drinking this wine. Unless you are, in which case... What do you think? I don't know. Um, so that's what it smells like. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. Before I even get into that, <laughs> supposedly I also found as, as well that um, <laughs> the the type of wine, or uh, what was, where was I going with? The way to properly taste your wine is to like kind of slurp it when it's in your mouth. It's really weird. It makes a funny sound effect. There's a little wine tasting ASMR. And I can very astutely say that that wine has been in the fridge for way too long. But I'm still into it. It's kind of it's kind of ripe at this point. Ripe citrus, mango, tropical. Imagine a beach. Imagine the waves of a country you've never been to that was close enough to the water. That. That is what I would imagine. Anyway, that's all. I, that's all I got for that. Thank you for joining me for my wine tasting time. This will be my drink for the evening. Because, if you don't got a drink, are you really enjoying yourself? And by drink, it doesn't, it's not necessarily alcoholic. Do you got water? You gotta have some water. Gotta do water. Gotta keep hydrated. Anyway, let's get back in, let's get into this. Let's 
get all into there. Now, 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 I do need to check a couple things. I'm kind of on call for work stuff today. We had a bit of a situation. So if I dart my eyes back and forth and check my other computer over here, I apologize. I apologize. Um, I just need to check up on something real quick. Type it in. I need to respond to this real quick with some information that I garnered from earlier. I need to check a thing. I need to check the value. But it's okay, because we're all having fun. I think so, at least. I, I like to think that I am. Um, let's see. What did I do at work today? Now, being that I my focus is currently on it, because <laughs> it's 8 o'clock p.m. I'm salaried, man. I don't have... It's not It's not the same hourly system as most people would be used to. But, ah, ah, whatever. DJ, la, 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 la. I, I was doing a little bit of sniffing today with Bluetooth, so as it turns out, so when you when you have Bluetooth devices, they can they emit things over the air, which is like really, really cool. However, it's often in a format that computers can understand, of course, like ones and zeros, bits and bytes, nibbles and the like. And when devices are communicating with each other, there's a certain set of bytes, there's a certain pattern of ones and zeros that gets sent across. And ideally, ideally, um, you can kind of hijack the device's um, communication by saying just the right thing. It's like, let's say your trigger word was Pikachu. And only say Pikachu because there's a Pikachu right behind the camera. What's up, Chonkachu? He's got sunglasses on right now, but you can't. Right, see, check, check this out. Check, Chonkachu's, got, Chonkachu's got his sunglasses on. Look at this guy. Anyway. Anyway, what a guy. Um, but so it's looking for a particular type of um, it's a particular set of patterns. So if I say Pikachu and that's just your trigger word, then naturally I can start a conversation with you. Um, and it kind of works the same way with Bluetooth. So I was looking for uh, 10 bytes, so the 10 bytes, like 80, 80 bits to be sent across that correspond to the proper message. And um, that was it. That was it. And I, it took me forever to try to figure out how to do that. So essentially, what I was able to do is I can connect to it with my phone uh, that the, the has Bluetooth capability and connect to it, and I was able to pull the debug log from my phone and see exactly what that string is. And then I generated myself, and I was able to talk to the device we were going for, and it was awesome. I felt very accomplished today. I was very happy for that. Oh, I definitely put that in the wrong location. My apologies. I just posted the message to my teammates in the wrong location. Yes, I'll delete that message. I want to go to this one. Oh, no, that was the right one. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that was the right one. There we go. <laughs> I'm not focused at all. Anyway, let's get back to the task at hand, and that's playing video games, right? I like playing video games. Where'd my... Oh, did I... Oh. Don't worry about it. Anyway, it's graveyard time. I am so... I am so... Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on over here? Oh, you know, speaking of which, too, uh, Graveyard Keeper just came out with version 1.4, so there's new stuff going on. Looks like a good place to work on making my home cozy. Then maybe I can finally stop dreaming about this skull. I can make my co cozy home. Burning Witch, Bridge of the Dead, Red Eye. I can accessorize now? This is totally new to me. What's going on? I still don't know how to make dye. How do I make dye? Red paint? Oh, it's paint. I guess it's not dye at all. <laughs> dye. <laughs> if it was dye, it'd be way too appropriate because <laughs> everybody dies now. Just kidding. Nobody dies. Nobody dies on my watch. People don't. Pay People haven't died for me in this game. I just bury their bodies. That's pretty cool that we have this stuff now. Cooking table? Updated cooking table? Very cool. A cupboard? I guess that means I can store things. Anyway, that, that's cool. I didn't realize we could accessorize our home now. And there's green bits coming out of the walls. That's interesting. Very fun. There's apparently increased... I looked. At, I took a look at the version notes, too, and there's supposedly increased storage around here, too. Maybe I can finally open up this... Nope, can't open up the cabinet. That seems odd. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to open up the cabinet. That seems stupid. Anyway, I think... One of my primary goals today is to get my graveyard up to snuff on on uh, beautifulness. 
Because I do want it to be a lot more beautiful than it currently is. My graveyard is not the most beautiful place right now. But uh, hopefully by next Sunday, I got about a week in game. I'll be able to figure that out. It'll be awesome. It'll be wonderful. Um, how am I going to do that? Uh, I got a bunch of stone. I got stone. I got stone up in my quarry. I'm going to put the stone up in my quarry. And it'll be great. But, uh, yeah, but we got a lot of that up there. Uh, and we're gonna... Uh, I'm gonna make it into a... What do you call them? It's not a fence. It's a wall. It's a it's a stone wall. Stonewall Jackson. Oh, I got bloody nails. I forgot. Ooh, I could also go down into the dungeon. The dungeon? Is it the dungeon? I don't really know whether it's the dungeon or not, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's a dungeon. It seems pretty dungeony to me. Well, let's see. How we call it a dungeon? Usually there are torture devices down in the in dungeons. Check. Usually, uh, usually there are uh, monsters in dungeons. Not really. Not not in this timeline. Um, what else is usually in dungeons? There's treasures down in dungeons. Uh, if it's like a D and D dungeon, for example. Oh, there, yeah, there's treasures down there. Specifically, buckets of blood and rusty nails, and not the drinkable rusty nail. That's a drink. I think the rusty nail calls for scotch and drambuie. Or I might be thinking of another recipe. I, I remember when I took my uh, my bartending courses. This is this is a really cool time. So I distinctly recall taking bartending courses with a buddy of mine. Um, uh, and the way that we would memorize some of these recipes were just kind of going back and forth and like poking fun at it and stuff. So I remember, I think it was the rusty nail that calls for scotch and drambuie. Drambuie is just a, it's a Scottish, it, it's um, I want to say it's a Scottish liqueur that kind of tastes like oranges, I think. I don't know. I've never actually had drambuie or perhaps it's drambois. I really don't know. But we decided we, the way that we remember the rusty nail was scotch on scotch on scotch on scotch on scotch on scotch on scotch because you use scotch whiskey and I believe drambuie is a scotch based liqueur. So that seemed appropriate at the time. That's how we remember that. I remember... It's funny, like, the drinks that I remember the... The... What's the term that you use? For remembering things by, like, a phrase that goes with them? Like a, 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 a phonogram? Phon phonomen? Phonomen? I, I don't really... I don't remember. But I remember those... Ehs, whatever you call them. More so than the actual recipe of the drink. So apparently, it didn't exactly accomplish the goal of what those things were for, like actually remembering the recipe, let alone the, you know, the the drink that they were for. But <laughs> I just remember, I remember, um, honestly, I don't remember most of them. I'd have to look in my cocktail recipe book. I think at some point I definitely want to go through that cocktail recipe uh, handbook thing that I got on a, on a stream sometime. Because like, I got a lot of recipes in my book, but I think I originally started building up my collection specifically to be able to build the recipes in that other handbook that I had. So, stuff like that, pretty cool. Let me go take, let me go take some of my belongings downstairs. I want to throw these rusty, not rusty nails, they're bloody nails, bloody nails, they're completely different things. I want to take these bloody nails and just kind of put them in a location. Do I have any storage over here? Oh, speaking of torture devices, look at you down there. Also, this thing will kill me if I walk on top of it. Not, not really advisable. Um, apparently I don't have any trunk space down here, so Whatever I'll just put it over here. I'll walk all the way back over here. Actually, can I research these guys bloody nail? No, apparently not. They are not researchable I cannot do anything with them. I can destroy them. That is all I can only destroy 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 And destroy that's all I can really do But I'll put them in this little box over here because I don't really need them on me right now uh, booze? I need the booze downstairs? I don't yet have a use for booze, so it's just gonna hang around in the basement. Uh, it's merchant day today. What does the merchant sell? Oh, the merchant sells grapeseed. I should buy grapeseed from the merchant because then I can make the most excellent wine ever to beseech this earth or other nether realms. I don't know. Are we in hell? Is this game, like, in a, some weird purgatory? I don't know. I wish I knew. Can I have a bunch of shit in this chest? Why do I have a bunch of beets in here? Can I even use beets for anything? How to use beets? Can I make beets into something? 
I got like grilled beets or something. Is that a thing? Fried beets? Beets beets? Oh, slices of beets. Look at that. Let's... Let's make a ton of beet slices. Wait a minute. Hold on. So, beet slices give me plus 18. Regular beets give me 8. Oh, yeah, that's significantly more. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Cook them beets. Cook them beets, yeah? Put the beets in the oven. Cook them beets, yeah? Oh, yeah. Nice beets. I know the cabbage and the carrot. Oh, actually, what are the carrots used for? What are the carrots used for? I can't tell. Can I use carrots in any of these recipes? I can make jelly. But I also need honey, too. I don't have a reliable way to get honey yet. What is this? Berry juice? How to make berry juice? I make berry juice from all this stuff. Let's not make berry juice. I'd rather make apple stuff from it. Do we have any meat? No meat. I don't have any onions. What do you use carrots for? Zawa clouds! Gives me all slow metabolism. All buffs last longer. That actually sounds really good. To be honest, I never knew that there was a, a positive benefit for uh, slow metabolism. Sandwich. So moist and delicious. I can also make a bunch of flour too, but I think wheat can be used for other things as well. Huh. I wonder what else I can use wheat for. Wait, what? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I can make regular nails from rusty nails on the cooking table. Now, how... To be fair, I do recall seeing when you hover over an item, it'll tell you, like, where you can craft it at. And to be fair, I did manage to see nails crafted at a cooking table and was very confused. But now I know how to. Look at that. You take the rusty nails, some sand to roughen it up with, and you put some water on it. You just wash them. And they're not rusty nails. They're bloody nails. I don't know why I can't get that the, the thick skull of mine. What else can I use wheat for? Oh, beet slices. Hmm? Tasty. Onion seeds go outside. Hemp. Still don't know what to do that at that. I think the wheat can be used downstairs for beer. I know wheat and hops and water make beer. So maybe I want to keep... Ah, I don't want to keep the wheat downstairs or anything. I'm not exclusive for that. Oh my god, I have to go talk to my... Talk to my merchant. Talk to my merchant. I'm going to miss him. I spent all that time just being... Just being a... No, stop! Out of my way! Stop moving around! I have to go talk to my guy! Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Hi. Yeah, let's trade. Yeah, you got some... Got some wine seeds for me? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I can buy diamonds now. Faceted diamonds! I know you can make jewelry in this game, so I guess I can use that for uh, jewelry. Faceted diamonds! Grape seeds. I want... How many? I'll take four. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sticking around for me. Really appreciate your patronage. Have a good one. Oh, and in the nick of time, too. That's awesome. I was so close. Can I, can I go up here yet? The hatch is closed. I'll show you closed hatch. I guess I really won't. I wonder if that'll let me get to like the, uh, the little vineyards we got. But uh, now that I have, oh, you know, before I plant more seeds, more wine seeds, I want to research different types of uh, fertilizer. That's the word. The word is fertilizer. The word of the day is fertilizer. How do we make it? I can make them at a church workbench or just regular workbench. Well, um, church workbench is over here. Is this the church workbench? Hand mixer? No. This is a church workbench. That's a desk. This is a church workbench. Why is? Why? Why would you be doing this at the church workbench? I don't know. Hemp rope. Oh, I can make rope now. But the question is, like, what do I use rope for? Hmm? I don't know. And then I can make the fertilizer. And I can make injections. Injections. Look at that. Injections. But I need, I need glassware. And to make glassware, I need another machine for that. We'll get there. But I also need alkali. And for this, I need acid. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know how to make acid. How do I make acid? I don't know how to make acid. Probably need some alchemy for that. But in any case, make fertilizer. I need dirt and various different types of things. Energy elixir, energy elixir, growth enhancer, flavor enhancer, <laughs> bucket of blood. I use blood and wood. Oh, that's how I make a bucket of blood? What did Snake want? He wanted, f yeah, I don't know, five bloody nails and a bucket of blood. Collect them from the dungeon. I don't need to collect it from the dungeon. I can just make it myself. 
Can I just add blood to nails and just make my own? Maybe I just like, just stab myself with them. Yeah, that'll do it. Pokety pokety poke poke poke. But yeah. Uh, I need to bring a merchant of trading license to start, to start a business. Maybe. Okay, I need to figure out how to make these elixirs. I'm gonna guess an alchemy table. Oh, but you know, in order to make the alchemy table, I think I need better glass blowing techniques, if I'm correct in saying. Let's take a look. Alchemy workbench requires much better things than I currently have. I need to reach its gears, those fancy block things, and special glass. So, how do? Gears, fancy block things. Fancy block things? Have I researched fancy block things? Nope, I need to research fancy block things, uh, so might as well do that now, maybe. Okay, hold on. Um, I already have special glass. I need iron castings. Gotta have that. And can I do this yet? Nope, I need more red power. Red power, red power. How much red do I currently have? 165. I just need to do a little more research. How much faith do I got? Oh, got plenty of faith. What else can I research for red? Anything? Anything in here to research for red? Anything at all? Any, anything, anything, anything? Red, 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 red. I'm looking for red. Red, 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 red. No, really? Okay. Well, I'll find other things to research for red. Because I want some red. I want some red to be able to make my alchemy table. You know? I'm going to work on the alchemy table. I was really intending on doing, like, graveyard-related things. But to be perfectly honest, I think this is a whole hell of a lot more fun for me. A lot more entertaining. If, in fact, we find that the the facilitation of keeping of the graveyard is the most entertaining part, then we can, you know, we can always change. We can always change our pace a little bit. I'm happy to do so. I'm flexible. Not actually flexible. I can do this with my hand. And make funny sounds with my shoulder, but that's about it. I actually just cracked my shoulder. Now it's incredibly uncomfortable right now. Well, that's, that's what you get, Cameron. <laughs> I'm going to take this chisel and research it. I'm gonna take this iron and research it. I'm gonna take this beam and research it. I'm gonna take this piece of stone and research it. What about this shovel? Can I research it? Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Let's research it. All right, let's take it all downstairs. We're gonna become so incredibly learned. Like, you're not even gonna believe how learned we're gonna be about the red. People will be like, Professor, Professor Graveyard Keeper, what the heck is red? And I'll be like, I'll give him a lecture on it, a completely nondescript lecture. And they'll be like, wow. Wow, Professor Graveyard Keeper, you're so cool. You're so smart. I need science. I don't have science right now. Well, I can make paper and just use that paper for science, right? Let's just take all the paper. Not all the paper paper, but like 50 of it. We, get, we can make more paper, that's easy. Easy to make more paper. Yeah, do all of it. Decompose mm, some, if not all. You know what? Whatever. We need science. Science is here, baby. Let's use them all. What else do I really need to use paper for? I don't know. Science, baby! The power of red compels you. It cannot be decomposed, as we expected. How, what could I do with a shovel? Decompose it into iron and wood, I guess? I guess. <laughs> Chisel! Also takes three. Ooh, I'm almost at enough red. It cannot be decomposed, but I did get quite a bit of red from that. And I'd say just enough red to make these fancy, fancy jointings. They're called jointings. I can now make jointings. Okie dokie, artichokey, pokey, loki, pokey. Now, how do I make it? I can make that at a workbench two. I currently have a workbench one, so let's make a workbench two. How do we make a workbench two, ladies and gentlemen, and those who fall in between or outside? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Actually, first I want to see if I can do any more red research. I don't have a lot of faith left, but really, does that matter? Does it really matter? Um, iron? Oh, it only takes one. Sweet. What do I get, boss? Yeah, it's not a lot, but I'm happy with it. What about stone? Does that take any? Yep, that actually takes faith. Incredible. What about wooden beams? That takes five faith? What? It's incredible. What about hemp? It takes four? Wow, I'm gonna need a lot of faith in the future. Whoo, damn. Papa's gotta go to church. Eventually. Confess! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your confession, sir. <laughs> really appreciate it. <laughs> I love how I'm just going around 
just going around my graveyard, just doing the graveyard things. And people just kind of walk into my church and they sit there. They sit there waiting. They're just like, I wonder when Father Graveyard Keeper's going to get here. I really have to tell him something, but I'm, it's not like I have anything else to do. I was programmed to sit here for all eternity until my sins are absolved. Or perhaps they're not even that self-aware. They're just like, I am so completely enamored by my own guilt that I am going to sit here until the Father can speak to me. I will not even face the outside world until I can get the sins of my past off of my chest. In which case, Father Graveyard Keeper comes in, and he's just like, Yo, bro, you okay? And dude's in there just like, I need my sins, ab sins absolved. And Father Graveyard Keeper's just like, Alright, I forgive you. And then the dude walks away like it was totally nothing. I was like, oh, I feel so good now. But then again, I guess that's how, like, normal church is. I suppose. I haven't done church in a while. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Hmm. Different strokes, different folks. What did I just put in here? I put my teleport seed in there. I'm so stupid. And I still have my chisel. I don't even know what to use the chisel for. The chisel is probably used for marbling activities, but I, for one, have not yet had that opportunity. Iron chisel. Now, how to create workbench two. Workbench two? Oh, I can make an iron ore stockpile down here. Lucky me, but I have no convenient way to transport them. Carpenter's workbench two. I need complex iron parts. Oh, that's not difficult. Oh, just make some complex iron parts. Oh, but for that, I need a lot more iron, and for that, I... Uh... Actually, that wasn't that difficult. Not difficult at all. Easy mode. Now, apparently, too, in addition to uh, the release of version 1.4 for this game, they also released a new DLC called... Something... Something, something. It's a reference that I don't necessarily understand, uh, and therefore cannot recall now. Probably because it didn't really hit home in my brain. Oh well. Carpenter's Bench 2? Number 2? Electric Boogaloo? Oh, I gotta break the other one first. Excuse me. I'm gonna break shit. Be back in a second. Insert, like, montage music here. Like... Montage over, we did it. Yay, I can craft an iron chisel. Yay, still don't know what that's used for. Probably for marbling. Hi, Mom! I see my mother in chat. Everybody knows what that means. Woo! Because I love her so much! This is how much I love my mom! <laughs> and all three of them go out of, the, out of the way. I took my mistake from last time of spitting my party horns out of my mouth, and it's now a party trick of mine. I can make funny, funny noises and make a scene both at the same time. Simultaneously, if you will. It's great. Mom, what are you drinking tonight? I got wine. It's been a tough week, and this has been sitting in the fridge for too long, but, you know, there ain't no judgments here. I can make armor for myself? Swag. I can make lenses? With faith? You can call it faith, inspiration, self-confidence. Anyway, it's as powerful as money. Incredible. I can use faith <laughs> to create lenses. Apparently, science and faith and religion or whatever kind of cross paths here. I can use faith to craft lenses. Or maybe it's just the power of light. I don't really know. And polishing paste. Oh! I was asking for a recipe of that earlier. And wow! Look at that! I have a use for bowls now! That's awesome! But most importantly, I can make jointings. How many jointings do I need for the alchemy table? Let's... Let's find out. I need to go back into my basement. Let's go back into my basement. Meat, beet slices. Beet, beet slices. Beet, beet. Bye, snake. I could probably be a beatboxer. I just have to hone my skills. Always wanted to try that. Always wanted to try beatboxing. But I never had the opportunity to. I just don't know how it works. Anybody's a beatboxer out there? You have my number. I need six of these things. Damn. All right. Well, I'll make six of them. I need six complex iron parts. I also need more iron. Should really go on an iron spree today. You know what I should be doing? Should probably be grinding for materials outside of these streams, but then I wouldn't have the opportunity to speak my mind to the ether. 
That's the best part about this. Who needs a therapist when I can just talk to you? That's probably not a healthy way of going about doing it. So, like, if you actually have some things going on that you need to talk to somebody about, there's no shame in talking to a therapist. There's no shame in that. I, for one, don't even know where to get a therapist if I needed one, to be perfectly honest. But I don't think I... I think I probably needed one before I got my job. But I feel a little bit better now. If anybody wants... If anybody wants to talk... I got DMs open. We, we can talk. Talking is good. Let's sleep until the next morning. Let's not worry about whatever's going on in our heads. However, I will say that internalization is not a very healthy thing. I internalized for a long period of my life, and externalization has brought me happiness, or at least the power to face my fears and innermost demons. And by externalization, I mean like, you know, like... Venting it into your hobbies and talking to people about it. That's a good thing. If you need to talk to somebody, there are people out there to talk to. If you need to talk to somebody, there's nobody else around. Maybe I'm just the guy who's like screaming on the internet and perhaps a little naive thinking that I can solve anybody's problems. But at the very least, I can lend an ear and I'm happy to do so. That's during or after stream. My DMs are always open. I just want to make sure... If I can make people smile, then that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And if I can contribute in any sort of good way to society as a whole, that might be the way to do it. That and, like, programming things and whatnot. That's, like, that's like the direct way to do it. And I get paid for that. That's pretty cool, too. Ooh, excuse me. Well, it's the wine coming up. What was I doing? I need to make jointings! And I need... Six of them. Perfection! You know, I've always wanted to get into carpentry. I think the only carpentry I ever did was making some, uh, um, wood cutouts of some, uh, some characters from video games. I made three characters. I only ever made three. I'd like to make more, but I honestly don't feel like annoying my neighbors with that kind of volume of stuff. So, uh, I really... I haven't done it recently. But, um, actually, I'll showcase in a moment. The, the carpentry work that I did do resulted in... Yeah, let me, let me show you, actually. Um... The little, little sands and papyrus that I've got on my wall over here, that kind of sits in the background. I made mean, this little guy, out of wood, painted him myself, back in 2016 apparently, about five years ago. Maybe a little sands, and uh, I got a papyrus here too. Oh, it's falling off my wall. It's okay, I'll fix it later. But I'm a little, I'm a little sands and papyrus back when Undertale was still completely relevant. I mean, it still is completely relevant. Great game. I was actually listening to music from it today. Oh. It seems that whatever I was using to keep that up on the wall, whatever I was using to keep that up on the wall has since fallen down. So, um, I will take care of that later. Don't worry about it. You know, one of my first days at work, my, uh, my boss actually commented. He was like, hey, I like your sands on the wall. I was like, thank you. Because we have, we have meetings every morning. <laughs> 7.45 in the morning. It sucked. It's so I can talk to the boys in Nam. Got some people that I talk with on the other side of the country for work. It's really cool. It's awesome. I learned so much from them. They're really, really awesome dudes. All right, I've got my jointing. Uh, I needed six of those. I need three of these glass blowy things. So how do make glass blowy? That's the next thing we're gonna make. Glass blowy, blowy the glass. How do I do it? Furnace two or furnace three? Oh, I can make an upgraded furnace? Oh. Uh, have I unlocked the Furnace 3, though? Mm, maybe. Furnace 2, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, yeah, look at that. Furnace 3. Oh. I'm gonna make all kinds of metal objects. I guess, uh... I don't exactly know how that works. I guess, I, I guess I've already, like, theoretically researched, like, molding and stuff. Otherwise, I do not know how I'm making those complex of shapes. Furnace 3. Furnace 3 requires a lot more complex iron parts and pigskin paper. Two downstairs and more pieces of stone. So let's hit up those. I, I guess I gotta go to the quarry because I need pieces of iron uh, and I need stone. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my way over to the quarry. Make my way over to the quarry. I need these things. Give me the wood wedges because those allow me to... Can I please pull this out of my... Oh, so I can't take it out of the trunk, but I can just look at it? Wait, what the... Oh, yeah, they're right here. I could just look at them? That's unfortunate. I have sandwiches for stuff. And I got room for the iron and stuff, so... 
back to the quarry. Let's go get some stone and iron and all sorts of things. Can I build a furnace up here? It'd be really cool if I could build a furnace up here. I cannot. I can build a porter station. What is a porter? Oh, I can sell things to the porter, right? I think I recall that. I think I remember that. I think, I think I remembers, but I ain't know for sure. Maybe, probably. Uh, let's get these guys down here. Put it in the wrong stockpile, this one. God, I wish I had zombies. If I had zombies, I could exploit them for labor. That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, I don't need... Huh. I thought I needed wood wedges for this. Huh. What you look at that? I'm gonna just sort of keep on whacking on this wall over here. I'm gonna get some iron ore from it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be wonderful. Hey, look at all this iron I got. Man, look at all this iron. What am I gonna do with all this iron? I just don't know what I'm gonna do with all this iron. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Very awesome. Put it on the pile. Put. Pile. Take you. Put it on the pile. That's just how we do it. That's how we make iron. Out of curiosity, if anybody is willing to share... What are y'all dressing up for, for Halloween? Does anybody dress up for Halloween anymore? The answer is yes, I'm dressing up for Halloween. But I'm curious about if, if anybody else is. Very, very curious. I, I, I want to know what you know. I'm dressing up as Ron Stoppable this Halloween. And my fiance Anna is dressing up as Kim Possible. I'm trying to do some prop work with that too. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Look at that. Beats. Eat the beats. Oh, nice. Working on some prop work for that. I had a couple of iterations of my Kim Mutacator. Um, trying to look for all of them. I thought I had them in my pile down here. Oh, hello. I tried to do some foam work. Uh, it didn't really work. It's just not, it's not even on all sides. Not really a fan of that. Tried to do a flat style. It's just not coming together. However, I am working on a, we're a little 3D, 3D foam thing right now. It's working okay. It's working okay. Could it be better? Absolutely. But, you know, life is a series of ongoing progress, uh, projects. I think at least. Uh, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore. My friend has been talking to me about apparently a Skyrim mod where you can play Skyrim together, and I think that's pretty damn cool. It's a shame I don't play much Skyrim anymore. Hey, oh Peter Chris, how you doing today? I hope your evening is going as lovely as mine is. The beginning of the day wasn't super good. Silver? Hold up a second, where did I get silver from? Where did that come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Silver Eye Joe? Anyway, that's pretty cool. I didn't know I could get silver from iron ore. Oh, well, in that case, I'm totally gonna buy m mine more ore. At the beginning of my evening was a little odd. I um, I was supposed to deliver something to the store, to a, to a shipping yard, to a shipping place. I was told it closed at 7 or 8 p.m. It closed at 5.30. I was out on my run. I had a package in my hand. I was running with my package, thinking, I'll make it before they close. And they were closed. And then I had to very sadly walk back with a package in my hand and cut my run a little short. But that's okay. We'll get it next year. Peter's doing okay. Just a little bored. A little all right. Hey, you know what? It's okay to be a little bored. I, I for one, don't like... I don't like the feeling of boredness, but oftentimes, something that I had to come to terms with, especially during college, because there were times where mostly I was doing work and stuff, but then other times, I just needed... I needed stuff to do. And so, after work, I would be in this state of mind where I'm like, I'm already focused on one thing. I can't just not do that one thing. But I do need to transition to something else. What do I transition to? And I'm always stuck with all these thoughts of like, I could do this, or I could do that, or I could do this, or I could do that. And to be perfectly honest, just pick anything. My, my solution to me being bored is just pick one thing and just do it. And if I'm not totally into it, I just pick something else. That total random. Just do a totally randomness. That's how I made my first painting. I was like, damn, what do I do? I'm not in a good mood, but I'm really, really bored. So what do I do? And I was like, you know what? I have never... I have not painted since I was a child. Let's whip out all the paints that I got and paint a picture. And lo and behold, I painted a picture. I was very, very happy with it. Although there have been other times too where I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like, I'm gonna watch TV or something. Like I'm gonna watch an anime or something. 
and then I realize I'm not really into the anime, in which case I will stop watching that one and pick up another one, or I'll stop doing that and I'll just do something different. You never know what I might be up to. But I just just pick things at random. Excuse me, I'm burping. Ugh, goodness. That wine has been in the fridge for too long. Too much oxidation. That's when you know your wine's gone bad. Technically speaking, I could make it into vinegar. I can make it into white wine vinegar. The Chenin Blanc from South Africa. I don't know why I said it like that. South Africa. Cool. Let's go back to Sweet Home and see. I see. I see, said the blind man, as he picked up his hammer and saw. Little euphemisms there. Might pick up the Midnight Gospel to watch. Need to take some notes. Midnight Gospel? I have no idea what that's about. However, I have definitely heard the name before. Sounds like fun. We need to take notes on it? Like uh, for a school project, maybe? That'd be pretty cool. The last time I took a movie class... Actually, the last time I took a class where I needed to watch a movie was a mythology course. And it was the most disappointing course I think I've ever taken in my entire life. That was very much not about mythology. That was very much about how to write about mythology. And I didn't take that because I wanted an English course, dude. I wanted to watch it because I wanted to learn about Zeus and Hades and stuff. But that's not what I got from that mythology class. So I dropped it. There's no shame in dropping a class if it's not your cup of tea. I need to put shit in the furnace. Gotta put shit in the furnace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta put, put shit in the furnace. Oh, yeah. Let's make as much as I possibly can. And then I'll burn down that forest, that furnace and make another one. <laughs> now nah, it's a personal project, a podcast with some fellas. Oh, cool. You need to create a little guideline. That's so cool. I was actually talking to a buddy of mine uh, about a week ago. Uh, actually, actually, about a month and a half ago, maybe even longer than that. Anyway, it was some time ago. My buddy and I, he was telling me about this podcast that he watches. And I was like, we could do a podcast. And so we picked up my camera and started streaming for like an hour and talked about Marvel movies and stuff. But um, I still, to this day, we're like, we could totally make a podcast. What's the podcast going to be about? We have no idea. But we think it's going to be called Nothing Good Ever Happens on a Wednesday. If you notice, it is a Wednesday. And the podcast would also take place on a Wednesday. So it'd be kind of like us just, like, bashing ourselves. Which, like, but like in a, in like a, in a, in a comedic, comedic way. We're not actually sad that we're doing a podcast. We're really excited. But we want to make sure, like, where it's, it'd be funny. Like, I, I feel like if I saw a group of individuals who said, Hey, this show sucks. Don't watch this show. I'm going to watch that show. There's a game that's like that cool. I like that too. It's like, don't play this game or something. Or like, there is no game. But it's a game that people play. I need more complex iron parts, and I don't really have those right now. Um. Hmm. Guess I gotta work on that. I need complex iron parts for what? To make the glass blowing station? Oh, no, no, no. I needed the complex iron parts to make the gear. Oh, I need the complex iron parts to make the furnace three with the gear. That's what I need. Furnace 3 requires complex iron parts in number of 10. I also need pigskin paper. Can go downstairs and make that real quick. I also need the materials to create the glass. So might as well research that in the meantime. I can make that at Furnace 3. Oh, that's exactly what I was doing. And how about this thing? Can I make these gears at the Furnace 3 as well? Hell yeah, we can! I need that furnace for a couple of things. Nice. Advanced conical flasks. Very cool. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you can see me on a podcast. You've got good speech and good stories to tell. Thank you for that. I appreciate the compliments. I do have quite a lot of stories. And it's interesting, too. My memory is not... I will admit, my memory, I think, works differently than most people's. I find that my memory, I can't, like, recall it very easily. But if something comes up, for example, I'm talking in a conversation and a word comes up that reminds me of a scenario, I can totally like veer off into that scenario and talk about that story, which is often why I go on tangents sometime and completely lose track of what I'm doing. Um, some would say that's a plus. I think it's a plus. I think it's a pretty good thing. I needed pigskin paper. Look at that. There we go. Me losing track of things again, but that's okay. But yeah, and the speech I think is all right. I think I sometimes, I, I think my mouth sometimes moves a lot faster than my mind can and so oftentimes i'll kind of get like i'll get like um like i'll get lost for words or i'll stutter a little bit 
Um, but usually if I speak a little bit slower, let's, let's try this for a little bit. If I speak a little bit slower, I'm usually a lot better with the intonation of the voice. I can memorize lines very easily and recall them. That's pretty good. Don't know where I was going with this. Anyway, back to the Cameron show, I suppose. Today, on Nothing Good Ever Happens on a Wednesday, I didn't make it to the package store on time. It was unfortunate. And then I hobbled home with a package in my hand. There was no punchline. It was very disappointing. I was gonna go out for a run. My plan was, I didn't even bring, I had a bag that I had my package in. I was gonna take, I didn't take the bag with me because I was like, I'm gonna drop off the package and then I'm gonna continue on my run. But I couldn't do that. Fragile belongings in there, just can't do it. I'm trying to look for my bat wings right now. I could have sworn I had more bat wings. I do not have any more bat wings. I should go into the dungeon and beat up some bats. Yeah. That'll be an easy way to get some bat wings. So I can get the pigskin. Yeah! Pigskin paper! Exactly! That's what we were doing. We were beating up helpless animals. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Into the dungeon, down to level four. Hi, everybody. It's dungeon time. I'm gonna beat up rats with wings. Hello, rats with wings. Your exterminator has come for you. Oh, look at this. I can break that. Wacky, 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 wacky. Nice. Metal scrap. Flitches. Flitches are good. Although, I feel sometimes we can all be flitches sometimes. Oh, look at this. I forgot about this guy. Look at you. Please don't touch me. Oh my god, you lunge at me. Why did you lunge? No, stop. Don't lunge. Enough of this. I didn't appreciate that at all. Where are the bats when I need them? Oh, actually, the bats are outside. Why did I go down into the dungeon when there are bats outside? Hey, look, a bat. Why did I question myself about going outside when clearly there are bats in the dungeon? <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, that was perfect. All I needed was one. Now I'm gonna go back up. Or rather, let's see. Can I survive the dungeoneering? Oh! Actually, better go up. It's Lord's Day. We need to pray. Get some faith from the people. Oh! Oh! That's the Halo theme, in case you weren't already aware. Although, my god, it sounds beautiful. It's so majestic. Honestly, I could totally imagine somebody going up to, like, the altar at the church for the, for the choir and start, like, vocalizing the Halo theme. And just the people who know, the people who don't know will be like, oh, beautiful. Really reminds me of the Lord our God Almighty. And then me in the back will be like... <laughs> I remember teabagging people to this song. That'll be the life I live. And that will be in my confessional later on. Tell me your sins, son. I was thinking about... I was thinking about naughty activities during church. Five Hail Marys. And a beating. That doesn't sound very satisfying with a plastic ruler. Aha! But this Midnight Gospel is a Netflix animated series about this de- Yo! I know exactly what you're talking about now! Before I read the rest of that, I know exactly what you're talking about now! That's like, that's like, uh, that's the, uh, I recall, I recall it being very, what's the word? Psychedelic. It looks uh, psychedelic. Oh, I gotta watch that. I think it's on my list, actually. Anyway, an animated series about this dude called Clancy, who has a special, has a space cast, and travel worlds interviewing random people while they bring really interesting topics with great philosophical questions. I love philosophical questions. Man, I gotta watch that after I'm finished watching. Wa finish what? After I finish watching my copy of Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is an Apple TV series about this uh, American football coach who becomes a European football coach. By the way, two different games. One is our version of soccer, or one is what we call soccer, and one is American football. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really, really great show. I think it makes me, I feel it on a certain level. Like, you ever, you ever feel sometimes? I feel with that show. And that's not always a good thing, but it's always, it's always, sometimes feeling is uncalled for. But you know what? In this day and age, people like me should really learn how to feel. And feel often. I literally broke down in tears after one episode because I realized how much the main character related to me and how alone I felt sometimes. 
But anyway, that's why I have people to talk to. That's why we go out for social activity. Actually, that, that wasn't what maybe. What was it? What was it? Actually, the point that I the the point that I got to was there was a scene. I don't know why, but I was I was writing some things out to myself, and I had realized a lot of like the really really good decisions that I ever made for myself in my life weren't necessarily my decision. For example, going to college. My parents decided that. My parents were like, "You should go to college," and it's not like I said no. Going off and like getting some of my first jobs in college, that was because my school has a co-op program. I didn't necessarily choose to get the job. I chose which job it was, but I didn't choose to get it. And I was like, wow, I don't know if I've ever made a decision for myself all upon my own choice ever in my life. And then I was reminded about like proposing to my fiance. That was totally my own choice. Dating her and asking her out, that was totally my choice. So I invalidated my argument, but I had a good cry. It's good to have a good cry. It's good to have a good cry sometimes. But yeah. So he was a football coach, now he's a football coach. Yes. You are correct. Some would say, you're right on the money. Totally on point. Except one, <laughs> one's a football that's not even shaped like a ball. American football. And one's football that's actually shaped like a ball. Soccer, aka regular football. One also mostly uses the hands. American football. One almost exclusively uses the foot or feet. Regular football. Silly Americans. Hi, that's me. I'm one of the silly Americans. I also call it football and soccer. <laughs> Shame on me. But what can I do if I start calling it? If I start talking about, hey, I like football. I played football in elementary school. They could be like, your elementary school allowed for contact sports? Like, <laughs> no, it was soccer, but I had choose to use the European terms. And they'll be like, you. And I'll be like, me. Oh, my graveyard is not at the right level. What? What am I graveyard at? 21? Eh, I'm getting there. American football is cool, though. I really, really enjoy... I'll admit, I don't know all the rules of American football, so I'm not super good at watching the games. But I loved, I loved, loved, loved the marching band and going to the football games. I, what I really, really like about Super Bowl time... And I guess sports in general is the atmosphere. Um, I think the only sports that I've been to that qualify like that are football games, because high school. And also, uh, oh, excuse me. Also, um, uh, baseball games. Excuse me. Hiccup. Uh, baseball games as well. I've been to a couple of, uh, there has been a couple times where I volunteered to pick up like trash at baseball games and help out with stuff. That was always fun. The Cub Scouts sometimes went to the, uh, the baseball games too. That was always a fun time. Peter Chris's city has a team that competes on regional tournaments. Yo, that's so cool. Technically speaking, my college has a football team, but my college, Drexel University, is mostly known for their basketball team. So, as a fact, the football team has been undefeated since 1974 or something, because my college has not had a football team since 1974. In actuality, the football team, the Drexel University football team, is the improv group. The improv comedy group, which is hilarious. And I think that that's just great. They're very, they're very funny to watch. Uh, I don't think I ever auditioned for them. Just wasn't my cup of tea. Not the, just people that, I like the people. They were very, very fun, very fun fanatics, but just not my cup of tea of a crowd. But I love doing improv stuff. Love me some improv. What was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? Oh my god, I need to grab iron from the from the skillet. Skillet. The furnace. <laughs> to grab iron from the skillet. I need... Let's make all those iron parts. Make all of them. Ah. Ah, but the thing is, Peter's from Brazil, so you don't have American football culture. Interesting. I don't know much... Is, a, is like, is a soccer football? Soccer football a big thing in Brazil? I feel like it is. Something, something makes me... Something intuitively in my brain says... Yes. Like, yes, that Brazil is really cool down there. But I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. It's an awesome sport. I, I, I actually did play soccer back in elementary school, so. And I do I do enjoy the sport. I don't watch it very much, but honestly, I just, just I don't keep up with sports too much. I think eventually at some point, some of my work friends are going to get me into, um, they're going to get me into fantasy football, just, just for the hell of it. Um... And I think after that point, I'll probably that'll probably be my gateway to the rest of the sports. But we'll see. Not enough resources, really. What was I? What was I? Okay. What? What was I out of? 
Oh, I need more simple iron parts. Look at that. Ha ha. Would you look at that? Oh, it's time to go to sleep. Nice. Oh, Brazil's the biggest champions of the World Cup. Well, it's no wonder that I had that association in my brain already. Nice. But it's not like everybody plays like football. I guess so. I suppose like, yeah, I feel like every, like every single school I've ever been to has a football team. Aside from the ones I went to. Ha, huh, look at that. But, um, I get that. But like, I, I just, I know my high school had a soccer team. Middle school had a soccer team. I think every school I've been to has a soccer team. I think, I don't know if Drexel actually has a soccer team. I've never actually looked into that. Like I said, I mainly know that we have a football team, which is an improv team, a basketball team, which is what we're known for, and we also have a, a squash team. And if you don't know what squash is, squash is glorified wall ball. You take a racket with a tennis ball or racket ball or paddle. You have a paddle. It's a paddle, and you hit the racket ball against the wall. And then it comes back, and you hit the wall again. Except there's two players. They're right next to each other, and you try to hit different... It's like the court that the tennis ball would hit is on the wall. It's very, very interesting. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen a particular individual who makes so much money get so fired up and so hard for squash. That's the dean of my college. Hello, Daddy Fry. I'm talking to you. But he's like, let's let's take all of the endowments that we have and stuff and put it all into squash courts. Let's turn the historical armory into a bunch of squash courts. And we're like, dude, chill with the squash, man. Yo, I just remembered, speaking of squash. Take a look at my squash. I have a butternut squash. It's almost spooky day, and instead of pumpkins, I have a butternut squash instead. Right, butternut squash? <laughs> the dude's saying butternut. What does that say? He says, got squash. Dude's like, got squash. <laughs> How incredibly phallic. I love it. It's great. I like, like, like that. Once upon a time, now that I'm thinking of squash, we had a, uh, so pi, as we discussed last week, is a Greek letter. Pi is also a numerical constant. 3.141592, whatever. And so, on March 14th, uh, my high school math teachers would celebrate Pi Day. Actually, in elementary school, in middle school, too. Not elementary school, but uh, middle school. Like, basically, wherever the point was that we learned that Pi was a thing, because I certainly didn't know about 3.141592 blah 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 in elementary school. And if I did, my god, I feel bad for myself. There was no perfect, there was no need for me to know that at that age. If I ever did. Rest in peace, young Cameron. You will forever live on in memory. But so we would make... We would... Uh, either the teachers would bring in pie for pie day or we'd make pie for pie day. And so in school, in... Um, I did not bring my paper with me. Shucks. But I would bring... Uh, in high school, in one of the classes, I think it was trigonometry class, we all brought pies in. And it was a lovely, lovely time. And... You know, people were bringing in apple pies and cherry pies and pecan pies. And I was like, I want to do something different. What kind of pie can I make? And as it turned out, we had had some squashes left over from, I don't know what we were doing, but we had squash. Spaghetti squash, specifically. And I was like, I wonder if we can make squash pie. And lo and behold, as it turns out, pumpkins and squash and most gourds are not that farly, they're not that far unrelated to each other. They're not that far from each other genealogically. And so, the squash pie was delicious. You spice it the same exact way that you would a pumpkin, pumpkin pie with your pumpkin spices like cinnamon and whatnot. And you get this really, really wonderfully textured pie that kind of tastes like pumpkin pie, but a little bit sweeter. It was delicious. So, squash pie would totally, would totally recommend. Specifically spaghetti squash because that's the experience that I've had but you know If you've got yourself a phallic looking squash that you just really want to put into a pie Well, now's your opportunity Technically now's my opportunity. I actually looked around my apartment today to see whether or not I had enough ingredients to make like um Oh, I can't I can't break this apart no, or maybe I can. I actually looked around my apartment to see whether or not I had all of the ingredients to make a squash pie with the, with the squash that I have. Because I was like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just scream, stream making pie tonight. 
Uh, as it turns out, I'm missing a ton of ingredients. <laughs> I am missing a ton of ingredients for that. So I was like, you know, we're gonna keep with this for now. But I think what I'll do, maybe we'll, maybe we'll plan something for next week. We'll make some pies. I've never cooked on stream before because I don't have the right light. I don't have enough camera angles. I don't have the right lighting. But if you can tell right now, my lighting's a little bit different. I learned a, I learned a, a, um, a camera trick last week about adjusting the exposure on your camera and turning your lights up way, way high. So, um... That might be something I could get into. That could be really cool. I've always wanted to cook on camera before. I feel like it could be really fun. Anyway, through all of that, we finally have Furnish 3. Electric Beagley. That didn't go well. I don't like that. But we got a big old furnace now. What else can I make in this furnace? Graphite? Well, if I had coal, that'd be cool. But I, I don't have coals yet. Fuel from sticks. Ah, I gotta, gotta fuel the fire. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Yes, make iron. Oh, I can make more iron at a time. That is lovely. Can also make steel parts, steel ingots. Oh, steel ingots uses, oh, you need, you need coal. Oh, you need graphite. You need graphite to make coal. That makes total sense. It makes a lot of sense. And I can make my conical flasks. Look at that. How many conical flasks do I need? Um, I don't know. How we came from podcast to squash pies on Halloween. Let's see. How did we get there? We were talking about podcasts. Then we talked about Wednesdays in general. I talked about streams. Why did we talk about pee? We talked about pies. Pie. I talked about squash. Why did we talk about squash? What? Do, how, how did we get here? I don't even remember how we got here. Huh. But I'm happy that we are here, so that we can share the glory of butternut squash with the world. No, no, you know what? No, no, now I'm gonna think about this. How did we get here? I gotta, I gotta think about this for a second. Something must have happened to remind me of squash. What reminded me of squash? Let's, let's consider for a moment. Let's put our thinking caps on. What the heck did we do? Podcasts. Podcasts. We were talking about school. School happened. We were talking about, whoa, whoa, I remember. Okay, okay, we were talking about podcasts and then we went to, okay, you you had brought up the Midnight Gospel. So we're talking about books and books and school. School with Pi Day, no, 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 school. We went to school and then we talked about school and we talked about school, universities. We were talking about football. We were talking about football. I talked about how my school doesn't technically have a football team and I listed off the other ones, football, uh, basketball and squash squash is another sport and then i remembered butternut squash and that's how we got here it was because of sports somehow sports ties us all together what a beautiful world we live in what a beautiful world indeed i need three of these bad girls to make an alchemy workbench i'm gonna go up and do that that's the recap this is the recap episode everybody we did it we did it and you didn't even, uh, unfortunately, unlike most recap episodes, you didn't know it was coming, so it's not like you could skip ahead to the rest of the show. But, uh, welcome back. We're here. Back to the show again. Welcome back to Karen with an X, the guy who arbitrarily spares his name with an X because he thinks it's cool. It's not. But he likes to think so. It just feels good. And it's all about feeling good. Oh, you know... I really should have checked to see what the recipe for those steel gears were. Hmm. I forgot. Anyway, conical flask. Here they go. That won't take too long. I guess... What did I need 20 stones for? Did I use all the stone? I have 19 now. I don't know. Let's make some things out of stone. That seems like a good idea. Let's put some metal scrap in there. Flitches and... Put some, put some, put some in there, put some odd parts, and... Excuse me, oh my god, sorry. Iron ore, no, don't put the iron ore in there, take the iron ore back out. Let's make our way up to... Oh, it's merchant day, I can buy more grape seeds. I just noticed, I never planted my grape seeds. Well, that's weird, why didn't I do that? I can't believe it. Now I can harvest my grapes, too. Hmm? How many grapes? Oh, five grape seeds? Yes! Net positive. I don't have any peat on me. Damn. Alright, better go back down here and grab some more peat. Peat, peat, peat. Oh, for Pete's sake! Hi there, my name's Cameron. I also am known for my one-liners. 
And yet again, welcome to the show. Oh, I did not mean to take all of this peat with me. That was, you know, you know what, whatever. We're full send. There ain't nothing like a big old pocket full of peat. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of... Yo, I can get f blue points? I can get blue points from glass? Yes! I didn't know that at all! That's wonderful. I'm gonna try not to be too, too excited about it because really, it doesn't matter. But it matters to me, so excitement. Yes! Put some more shit in the ground. Excuse my language, but it's true. Put some seeds in there. Yes. And perfect. Now we got seeds growing. I'm going to rest my body up. So I can regain my energy. What else can I cook in here? I have a lot of other ingredients too that I don't necessarily use. So what do we got in here? I can make carrot cutlets. Ooh. Ooh. If I had cheese, no. Um, muffins? 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 I can make croissants! Oh my god, I can make me some croissants! It's so good! I can make some pies too But I need bakery I need bakery dough Pastry dough And I need sugar for that I don't think I have sugar yet What else we got Where's the Where's the pastry dough How do I make pastry dough Is it over here Ah uh, pastry dough And I need milk and eggs for that I do not have either Maybe I'll be able to milk zombies one day Maybe zombies lay eggs Anything can happen Anything can happen. Uh, I'll put the green jelly in here. Put the green jelly in there and... Uh, oh, I got all these other grapes. I can put the grapes in the basement. Gotta put the grapes in the basement. Grapes. What's on? What's on? Oh, yeah. What's on? I was actually just talking about the show Jimmy Neutron earlier today, which features a side character named Carl Weezer, who is well known for his... The way that he says croissant. Now... Can I make berry juice? I think to make wine, I need fermented berry juice, right? Red wine, I need berry juice. So I need juice of the berry. I have enough. Let's do it. Yes. Craft it. Work it. Work them thighs or not. Actually, you don't use your... Actually, you do. You you would use your thighs if you're attempting to uh, like uh, do like... Like, if you you work them thighs if you're crushing grapes, right? Yeah. Is that to do with a terrible spin-off show? Um, so Jimmy Neutron, the character... Oh, no, 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 that's not the dude. That's not... That's Sheen. Sheen had the spin-off show. That was really weird. I was also talking about that at work today. Excellent. How topical. Topical. Ring the topic bell. Anytime we do something topical, we ring the topical bell. That's a good topic. I don't know. That's... That's not gonna stick. I have so many random belongings around my desk. I can just use them for whatever I need. Oh, one moment. I think I was at it again. One moment while I check on work things. Hello? Anybody? 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 Anywhere? What do we got? Uh, oh, I was just CC'd on that. Not important! Well, actually very important, but that's okay. If the world caves in, it wasn't directly my fault. I think we'll be okay. I need to sleep. I gotta sleep. Sleepy time. <sighs> anyway, did we wake up yet? Speaking of sleeping, I really need to get one of those apps that, like, record you when you sleep. Like, whenever you- whenever sounds occur, like, while you're sleeping, it'll record that sound so you can listen back to it in the morning. Because apparently, I talk in my sleep. Who knew? But in addition to that, apparently, my fiance also talks in her sleep. So then it suffices to say, huh, hey Cameron, do you and your fiance ever talk to each other in your sleep? The answer, according to onlookers and witnesses, is yes. We do. Apparently we talk to each other in our sleeps. And supposedly the conversations are really not sensical at all. I'll be like, I'll be like, hmm. I was talking about the trees, and this is gonna make me want to look at that that horse wagon in the morning. And then my fiance would be like, 
yeah, you know, like, uh, heckin', heckin' board games, and I wanna go to Gen Con, and we'll, be no we'll have nothing to do with each other. Although sometimes we will respond to each other in growls and other onomatopoeia, which is really interesting. I, for one, have never witnessed it because I've been unconscious during all of these events. But my god, I would love to hear one day. I'd like to be a witness to my own conversations one day. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh, here, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I need to put the carrots. Gotta put the carrots in the bin so that the dude can bring me, the donkey can bring me dead bodies. Appreciate that. Hey, yo. And I gotta put all this peat back in the chest. I don't need that much peat. I don't need much peat in my life. Let's put it all in there. There we go. What else did I need? I have my conical flasks, and now I just need to see about how to make the gears, and how many gears I actually need to make. So let's see how many gears I gotta make for the alchemical furnace. We're doing alchemy now, baby! Awesome! That'd be so cool. I'm, I'm getting flashbacks to Full Metal Alchemist! Full Metal Alchemist. In the likely transition. What do I need? How many do I need? I need two of them. Wait, do I not have the right conical flasks? Wait a minute, what is this? Advanced conical flasks? Oh, yo, I totally made the wrong ones. Nice. Well, now I have conical flasks. Boop. Pater would go up. I don't know why I just said Pater. Pater? I don't know. Words come out of my mouth sometimes. Peter would go up to their mother's room, wake her up, and talk something. Talk talk something with growls and come back to sleep. Oh my gosh. SMT. I think that means something. Talk a little something something. You whisper sweet nothings in her ear that ab were absolute gibberish at the time. Give it a little something something. And you'd be like, Peter, is everything okay? You stare at her blanking, blankly with your eyes closed and then stumble your way back to bed, almost wistfully as if you were a ghost, just wandering, meandering in the night sky. Sky? The living room? The, the night sky is not the hallway. How do I make these advanced conical flasks? I definitely messed that up. Advanced conical flasks, three at a time. I use regular flasks and add water. Oh, well maybe I should have kept those flasks in my inventory. And in water. <laughs> exactly that? Oh my god. <laughs> I really like, I'll admit, I'll admit, my, I have a very, I think I have a very, like, like, uh, image full memory when things do come up, so I picture it in my head, and oftentimes I am very, very astounded when the image that appears in here is close enough to, if not, almost exactly what actually occurs in the world. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, that's never how that works. However, the point Oh, oh, one percent time that it happens. I don't remember how many point nines I had. But anyway, it's it's rather amusing. It's very amusing. Anyway, let's get some advanced conical flasks, and then how do we make steel parts? Make steel steel two steel parts with two steel ingots. I can make two steel ingots with two pieces of iron. So let's get these conical flasks going. The advanced ones. Uh, I'm gonna go purchase coal. I need that. I gotta go purchase coal from the blacksmith. Blacksmith, blacksmith, go to go to the blacksmith. Dead horse. Nice. Ah, yes. Once you woke her up to say, Mom, go to sleep. I'll not go to sleep. And then went back to sleep. I will not go to sleep, says Peter Chris in the younger years. Then goes back to sleep. Ironic. Honestly, if you were gonna say if you were gonna say anything to your mother, it might as well be something that was contradictory. I like that. Just just craziness. Absolute craziness. Oh what? I can't buy? I can't buy coal? Why? Do you not have any? Oh no. I can apparently craft stone where? The zombie mine? How else do I get coal? How do I have I not researched coal yet? Have I not researched coal? How do I get coal? What in the hey hey? Inburn blacksmith, red hot iron hammering axes, whatever it is, don't even want to find extra nails. Lantern work, did there. How do I make what? Mining. I can definitely get can be extracted from coal veins in the mountains. I need to go find coal veins, apparently. 
They started to lock the doors because apparently you would open the damn doors. Oh my god. That reminds me. When I was younger, when I was very, very young, I don't even think I was speaking yet, I would always find the cookie jar. My parents would always try to hide the cookie jar from me, but I, oh, oh I would find the cookie jars. They would lock it in cabinets. They would hide it real high. They would hide it behind, hide it behind closed doors. I would find the cookie jar. Granted, I was definitely, so it's a little bit different here. I was definitely conscious during those moments. I was definitely conscious, whereas in these cases, I don't think you were conscious when you were doing this, but crazy. I could totally find it. It was very, very good. Oh, I can make baked apples at the campfire? That's so cute, I had no idea. Wow, time to go to the mountain. On to the quarry. So where, where are the coal veins, huh? Where are the coal veins at? Coal vein? Are you a coal vein? You want a coal vein? What's over here? Oh, yo. What is this? What What is this? What, what is this? Well, I wish I knew what that was. But I don't. There's apparently... A... Oh, would you look at that? I found the coal vein. Nice. I did it. I don't need to buy coal after all. 28 coal? Yo! That's a heaping amount of coal. Damn! That's crazy! Dude, imagine not being conscious when doing that as a two to three year old. My pickaxe is broken. I need to go back home. Back to sweet home. Sweet home! We did it. Dude, I don't... I don't even know if I would even be... Like, can I even imagine being conscious? Of, I, I mean, technically speaking, like... Was I conscious in my youngest of years? I don't remember being conscious. I'm sure I was. I don't know. Not likely. I can also make fuel from coal now. That's great. I don't know what kind of effect that'll have on the environment, but... I don't know. Who cares, I guess? Graphite? Graphite and iron. Well, let's make two pieces of graphite. Or four, I guess. Craft that. Do that. How long does that take? Hopefully not long at all. That'd be nice. Honestly, yeah, I don't even know if I wanted to be... I don't even know if I want to be around for all the shit that I did as a child. Crazy, crazy, crazy things. That brings Peter to the question of, you know, I always one or two. And only I only think of this because I watched a show where that occurred. But I wonder if there's a, like, a handful, like, a, a, a significant enough portion of the population who does, who does remember, like being in the womb or like being born because an anime i watched the prop actually i'm not gonna say what anime i watched is because technically that's a huge spoiler so we're not gonna go there but could you imagine if you could remember your own birth that seems a little fucked up what's my first memory if it's too personal sorry don't answer oh not personal the first memory what i will call my enli enlightenment to consciousness the day that i gained consciousness was walking up the stairs in the condominium that my parents used to live in my i know my youngest brother was not born yet my younger brother was still there mashiko tensei no his name was definitely a lot easier to pronounce than that the person who could remember or the person in the anime who could remember being born but i just kind of remember walking through my parents condominium and walking up the stairs and being like i, th I want to say i was going to play with a light bright and a light bright, for those of you who aren't aware, was like a like this light up, like this light up box that you would put a piece of black paper over. Like the light up box had a grid on it that you could poke things through. So imagine like, imagine like the gridded pattern of this little thing I got here, and but it's much smaller than that. And you would poke the, these little translucent pegs through them, and you would turn on the light. And when you turn on the light, these these little pegs seem to glow. But on the black background of the piece of construction paper. Like, it would look really, like, really, 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 really cool. Light bright. So cool. I remember those now. But I remember that so vis vividly walking up the stairs. And it wasn't many stairs. It was like two or three steps into my bedroom to play with the light bright. And I want to say the image that the light bright was, you would, ideally, you would put a bunch of pegs on there until it formed an image. And the image, I believe, was a strawberry. Maybe. But I remember that. I remember that fondly. Oh, man, being in the inventory doesn't let time go. Stop. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I'll just put my silver nuggets in there, too. But how old was I? I... I don't know. I'm guessing... Like, I don't know how old I was, to be honest. Uh, I want to say I had already had my first birthday. 
or it was sometime before it. It was either before or after, like, my first or second birthday, maybe. I, I don't really know. I don't exactly know what the timing was. Like, I have, I don't have any reference aside from I was playing with a light bright and my parents still lived in the old house. So I definitely was not older than three or four because that's when my parents moved. Uh, but that was cool stuff. That was one of my earliest memories. I also remember having a birthday party too, but again, I don't know what year, what how old I was turning and whether or not there was or was not a clown there. I feel like I remember there being a clown there. I wasn't, I didn't have a problem with the clown. I just distinctly remember, I think, there being a clown there. And me being like, all right, this is, I don't, I don't know if I like this. I remember those days. Are uh, you were, you use a use a moving as a reference too. Moving movie. Movie of a, as a reference. I might it might be. Uh, you know, I wonder if I had. What was the first movie I watched? It was probably a Disney movie. Actually, you know what I remember watching. I remember watching a lot of like those VCR tapes, those VHSs with a bunch of like Disney shows on them. Like, oh, use moving out as a reference as well. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, that's a pretty significant moment to be able to remember. Like, I feel like I grew most of my life was in one house, and then the very, very early years were in another place. So the fact that I remember a different house format than what I currently or what I did know back when I lived at my parents' place was like, that's a really, really good it was a really good reference for me. And that's how I remember that. And I remember like Oh, you know what I also remember too? This definitely wasn't one of my first references, but I remember, I remember my parents saying, we're going to the Home Depot. And like this definitely, I was definitely like two, maybe one or two years old here. Actually, I have two memories that I want to bring up now that because they, they're, they're all coming back, or some of them are coming back to me now. But one was my parents saying that we're going to the Home Depot to pick up things. And I was like, what's a depot? And they were like, oh, a depot is like a store or a place to store things. And I was like, you're going to the store for a new home? I don't want to move out of my old home. Mom, Dad, I want to live here. I don't want a new home. And they were like, no, 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 no. We're not going to the Home Depot to buy a new home. That's not how that works. But I remember being so distraught about it. And my parents being like, this freaking kid. But I you know what I also remember? I, I was a rather emotional child. And to be fair, I should be a more emotional adult. But that's a completely separate problem. But I also remember... I, I I apparently, according to my parents, I was very proficient at using computers. I supposedly, according to them, I was using a keyboard and mouse, not like knowing how to type on the keyboard. I learned that in like middle school, but like using the mouse by the time that I was two months old, which seems a little preposterous, but you know, parents like to, uh, parents like to really updo like what their kids can do. Um... I need to make more iron. I'll do more iron as I tell more story. But so, but so I had this game that I played. I had a collection of games that I would play. I don't exactly remember which one it was. I just remember the disc had a red coloring on it. It was red. And I don't remember what game it was or anything. Anyway, anyway, it was like one of those learning games that you would, that you would give to your children to, uh, to play with. And there was an avatar on there, like a, like a, a bear mascot who would communicate with, like, that was, like, the, the narrator. The narrator of the game was this bear character. And before you would close out the game, if you clicked on the X button, it would be like, are you sure you want to leave? And you click yes, and the game would the game would close out. But I remember, I think, maybe, my, mem you know, memories are, can technically be false. You can remember things incorrectly. But what I do remember is, oh, my God, I just remembered another memory, too. Anyway, we'll get to that one next. I remember closing out the game and they have like a little song that they'll sing like see you next time or something like that like we'll miss you we'll see you before you go and i remember going downstairs and crying to my mother being like mom the, the, the bear's gone it's not under the screen anymore and she was just like did you you could turn the game back on you know and i was like i didn't know that and meanwhile i had done it so many times before but so funny so funny peter remembers their first memory with like two and you were going to a friend's party. You and your dad were walking to the school where the party would happen. And you asked him, Dada, is the gift good? While you were holding the pink box. That's so cute. Like it better be, it better be a pretty good gift. And they're like, you were asking, you were asking for the other person who was receiving the gift. Naturally, naturally. You're like, I wonder what's in there. I wonder if there was like, 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 uh, I don't know. I don't know how old this friend was at the time, but like, if he was going to like an adult party and there might've been like a bottle of wine in there, like he would have been like, dad, is the gift good? And dad would be like, oh yeah, it's a real good gift. Oh, he's really going to love it. 
can only imagine. But then the other the other memory that I have was, uh, and I don't know when this happened either. I don't have a reference for this. This, this all happened. Uh, every memory that I'm saying now definitely happened before I was three. But I remember burning my hand on the stove. I would play around with the electric stove that my parents had back in their old house. Now, 90% of the time, you could touch the burner and it'd be cold because the burner wasn't on. So I would sometimes play, I, I, I thought that the burners looked like snare, excuse me, like snare drums. So sometimes I would go on the stove and I'd play drums with the stove until one night when the burner was used my parents had made dinner and i went and i burned my hand on the stove i tried to play drums with the stove and i was sorely mistaken that my god that was not the sound effect that i was looking for the sound effect being my childhood screaming and not the sound of like boppity bop bop but so it really wasn't that bad of a burn it's not like i have any like remaining scars or anything but my parents you know ran it under some hot water wrapped me up all good and the way that I coped with it that night, my parents were watching a movie, I went back to my computer, I turned on the game, and I started talking to my bear friend, the avatar on the game, and I started talking to this bear, who was my best friend at the time, about how I had burned my hand, and how I had learned that day that maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't be playing drums with the stove. And that, I think, if you've ever watched the Disney movie Inside Out, I would consider that one of my core memories. Because to this day, I am very, very hesitant about things that might be hot. For example, if you're cooking beans or something, you take the pot off, or you reach something in the microwave, there might be steam off there. Don't touch the steam. Don't touch that. Uh, but Peter didn't know what the whose party it was, or what the gift was, or what in the hell your dad answered and how the party went. Those details are irrelevant! All that matters is whether the gift in the box was good or not, which I guess we still don't know. So, hmm. how cute, Teddy friend! Absolutely. I actually like my my um my uh the the excuse me words refocusing time to refocus refocusing time over the friend the little stuffed animal that I had when I was younger that I would be like my best friend at was uh was a little panda bear it was great i love that little panda bear i definitely got that panda bear after i turned three or four because we were in the new house for these memories but the panda bear was named panda lovely little stuffed animal and i remember i had you have to have a leash for your pet because because you don't walk your dog without a leash you don't walk your cat without a leash apparently you don't walk your babies these days without leashes but so i couldn't have my panda bear without a leash so i took a little string and i tied it around its neck but the string, when I turned, when I learned how to tie a knot, oh, I learned how to tie a damn good knot. That bear, to this day, it's got like beads and stuff in it, has a very constricted neck. And that's not necessarily because I tied a really good uh, knot. That's because I would manhandle this panda bear. I would swing it around on the rope. I would throw it off my bed and pull it back up like a fishing rod. Dare, I was on a, I, I slept in a bunk bed when I was younger. I was oldest brother. I got the top bed. My younger brother was in the bottom bunk. And so I would take my panda bear and to torture my younger brother, which I don't do anymore, naturally. I grew out of that. I would take my panda bear and throw it over the edge and pull it up so quickly that the momentum of the panda bear flying over the edge and flying downward would whack my brother while he was trying to sleep. Because that's the kind of brothless brother I was at the time. I am not that kind of person anymore. I am much better. If I was going to torture him in any way, it wouldn't be physical. Because that's just painful. Nobody likes to be in pain like that. I don't want to be in pain like that. But that's because I'm a rational thinking individual now. And don't, you know, I don't think that torturing people is a good idea. I'm not a bully. I don't think anybody- I, I'm known by many things, but I don't think anybody could call me a bully. It would not be physical. <laughs> it would not be physical. It certainly would not be. If anything, I guess in the modern- the modern- the modern way is cyberbullying. So if I were gonna do it in any way, I'd be like, Hey, you stink. And he'd be like, Well, that's not very nice to say. And then my response would be, You're right. You're totally, totally right. But that wouldn't be very cash money of me now, wouldn't it? That wouldn't make me a very cash money individual. Not a very 
upstanding member of society I would be if I cyberbullied people on the internet, let alone my own family members. Hello, buddy. Oh, you're oh you're good. Oh, you're a nice one. Three skull? Three skull, and mm, you're not a very good one. Let's see what happens when I remove your heart from your body. I want to remove your heart from your body. Extract the heart. We're going to retract the... Oh my god, that makes you so good! Although, that wasn't super... That wasn't the best, but that's a good body. That's a good body. I like that body. Nope, please... Please stop dropping corpses on the way out. Thank you. Thank you, Graveyard Keeper. Would very much appreciate if you don't drop bodies on your way out the door. Not appreciated. Let's put you in the ground. How about this ground? Here you go, Grave. Oh. Apparently that grave needs markers. Oh, well, let's do that. Let's put the body in the ground. There you go, body. Body gonna go on the ground. Body on the ground? Into the corpse. Into the corpse. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be doing that. Ah, Peter's the older brother as well. That's very cool. I, for one, I would say I'm a much better older brother nowadays than I was in the previous days. But then again, I was growing up. I was a child at the time. Don't blame me. Give, give my younger self some slack. He was learning. But um, I, I like to think that I'm a lot better now. I don't, I don't physically torture anybody anymore. Certainly not knowingly. If I do, it is not on purpose. I don't try to... I don't mentally torture anybody either. Although, sometimes... Sometimes you gotta get what you want. And for that, that requires a little bit of acting. Peter is a self-proclaimed good older brother who really looks out for your sister. He'll never torture... Have never tortured and will never torture her. That's good. And honestly, I, I say the word torture. It's, it's not... I don't think it was as bad as it seemed. But then again... I'm biased. I was the one conducting the tortureful activities. Or what could be considered tortureful activities. I think at the time, potentially people might have just chalked it up to, Oh, boys will be boys! But, you know, I really shouldn't have been able to get away with that kind of stuff. And to be fair, I really didn't. I didn't get away with that. My mother was a good disciplinarian. So. Uh, let's go to sleep. I need myself some sleepies. And then, perhaps, the, st uh, the steel will be done outside, and then we can make steel gears. Steel gears are good. Steel gears. I wouldn't mess with her. No, no, no. I, I understand a lot of... I know a lot of people who have, like... Actually, I don't know many people who have y younger sisters. Yeah, I'd actually... I don't know many people who have younger sisters. But, um... But anyways, like, I, I know... That they wouldn't... They wouldn't do anything like that. Usually a very, very protective. Most people like very, were very, very protective of their younger siblings. I, until about middle school, was not protective of them for the most part. I was like, my, your friends are your friends, and I'm, I'm not want anything to do with your friends, but I became a lot more amicable in my later years. Let's just make a bunch of steel parts. Whatever. Let's, let's make all the steel parts. I don't even know what else to make you steel for. Yeah, what else do you even use steel for? Steel parts. Let's do it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Because, you know, different from a lot of people. They asked for... Different from a lot of people, I asked for her. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. So you, you could have someone to be friends with because you were a lonely kid. Or you were alone as a kid. That's great. I know... I think I remember when my youngest brother was born. I want to say my parents were like, You're going to have another younger brother. And I was like, Oh, that's cool, I guess. I don't remember whether I was enthused about it or not. Although I'm totally psyched that I have a younger, a youngest brother now. He actually just got accepted to college the other day. Yes! Congratulations to Brendan! This kid has always wanted to be a, a weatherman since, since I feel like he was even able to talk and comprehend television. And he's going to school for media. He's, he plans on going to school for meteorology. And I'm just like, you go, bro! He called me up the other day to ask about like AP exams and stuff like that. And I was like, Finally, I can use this knowledge to influence the bright young minds of the future! Huge congratulations to my youngest brother, Brendan, who got into college. You're awesome, man. This one's for you. I love you, man. And you get the bell, too. Yeah. Like that. Celebration time. There's always a reason to celebrate. Everybody's gotta have a reason to celebrate anytime. Love to have people to celebrate. 
There's always a reason to. You never know when you might be. You know, might as well celebrate for no conceivable reason at all. Because if you celebrate for a reason that you don't know about, somebody else can be like, how about we, you know, we can, we can celebrate for somebody else. I think that's an awesome thing. All right. I have all the ingredients necessary for alchemy. We're going full on Edward Elric in this, his house. Just kidding. We're not, uh, it's not like transmutation or anything like that. Although, although, honestly, I really wouldn't put it past this game to introduce that kind of stuff. Alchemical Workbench 2. I'm gonna put it way up here. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Put it over there. Yes! We've almost got alchemy. Very, very cool. Oh my God, and it's Lord's Day. It's time to pray again. Pray to the gods of transmutation. Peter actually asked for a brother, but if it was a sister, you wouldn't really mind because you didn't really care. I... I don't know. I don't know if I had the choice in that matter. My parents also did try for a couple other children as well, and technically there were also two other brothers in the mix and a sister as well. But unfortunately, they were never able to make it to this earth and see the see the world with the light of their eyes. Unfortunately. But, you know, depending on, depending on your faith, I don't really have too much faith myself, but if there is an afterlife then I'm definitely going to see the three of them up there one day and hopefully make up for all the time the time left behind. That'd be so cool. All good. Although I do appreciate the condolences. It was like years ago though, so we're all we're all all good now. We've got a little we've got a little like um um what's the term for it? Cubby hole. It's not a cubby hole. There's a little like dent in the wall, like a rectangular like divot in the wall where we got an or an urn there for my sister and I think two uh, I think two certificates. I don't, I don't know what they do for the, um, the, the sister was a stillborn, and the other two were, um, um, oh my god, what's the term? I'm completely blanking. Not stillbirth. They were, um, oh my god, I don't, I don't remember what the term is. Wow, this is really embarrassing. But in any case, we've got, like, we've got some memorabilia up for them, and it's, uh, it's nice. When I come home, I, I like to, like to be like, hey, what's up, guys, to the urn. Technically speaking, technically speaking, I have no, I have no proof whether there's an afterlife or not. But if there is, and they're listening, I want to make sure that they know that I have not forgotten about them. I am not superstitious. However, I am incredibly cautious. Pick a research blood. Whoa, what is this? Alchemy. I can mix shit together. Yo, 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 yo. What else can I do with this? Can I put? Yo, what is this? This is an alchemy system! Oh, I wanna mix shit with blood! Oh, and I can put... Wait, what is this? Oh, I pick a solid... A liquid... And... And, and what else? Oh my god, what else? I don't know. I wanna put blood... With... With health solution... And I apparently don't know what else comes after that. Interesting. That's cool. I have no idea how that works. Okay. Interesting. What is in here? Toxic extract. Oh, I can make speed potions. Huh. Yeah, why not? Let's make a speed potion. I've never made a potion yet. Cool. I made a speed potion. Can I research that? Speed push on? Oh, I can pick... I can do this. I didn't actually research this yet. Sweet. I've discovered the slowing solution. Yay! Uh, what else do we got? Can I can I research that? No, nah, apparently not. All right, well, that's really cool. Nice. We got my alchemy. Awesome. Well, in the meantime, I got all this stuff on me. I put the slowing solution back, the health solution back. I have a speed potion now. Cool. Um, don't know what to do about that. I'm gonna put this in. Do I have like a? I'll use this scroll shelf also as a potion seller. Potion potion seller, like a seller where I. Not somebody who sells potion, like a, a place in the cellar for my potions. Or rather, a cellar specific for my potions. That's that's what I'm going for. That's that's the idea here. That's the general idea of it all. Put it in there. Start praying. Pray to... Whatever, really. What do you have faith in? Pray to them. Pray to the faith. I'm going to pray for the benefit of... Butternut squashes everywhere. Oh. Oh. 
Thank you all for coming to this service. Now that I all have you here today, remember the squash. For if you forget the squash, the squash will most certainly remember you rather uncomfortably. They'll remember you as the person who didn't remember them. And do you really want to look bad in a squash's eyes? The squash does not have eyes. Unless. Squash has eyes now. It's watching you. Don't be the one that the squash remembers. Or, you know, if you play with fire, then... Whatever. Halo OST is amazing. I never actually... You know, actually, I couldn't necessarily agree with that because I never actually played Halo OST. I played Halo Reach. I played Halo 4. And a little bit of Halo 3. But... But yeah. Oh, you said OST, original soundtrack. I I immediately thought ODST, but yes, yes. Obey the squash. May the squash be with you. Let the squash stare deep into your soul. Maybe one day we'll have squash plays. The squash will play things. My lighting really isn't good for the squash, so. And I also don't know where like I don't know where my better. Oh, I found my better marker. Hold on one second. I was wondering where the heck my thick sharpie marker was but i found it there we go i can get some thick eyes on this guy yeah all right there we go now it's just deep into your soul <laughs> oh i love that that is absolutely terrifying squash i will no longer refer to you as squash your name henceforth shall be tobias Now, to now it's Tobias. Tobias, you will live on in fame, infamy, or notoriety. It's your choice, my friend. Choose, choose wisely. Choose wisely, my friend. Hey, Peter was just playing Halo 3 and Halo 1. Nice. I know the Master Chief Collection came out recently, and I know a buddy of mine has been playing that a lot. He's a really big Halo fan. He plays a lot of Skyrim and plays a lot of Halo. That's the kind of guy Lycos Lore is. Lycos Lore being another stream buddy of mine. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. I love that man. Love that man. He's got a YouTube channel too. He's been playing through... There's a webcomic that I, I never actually... It's not a webcomic. It was a web, web series that I never got to watch called Tome. T-O-M-E. And honestly... I remember watching a little bit of it, but not by much. But, uh, great, great show. Great show. And they turned it into a video game. Uh, they turned it into a video game, finally. And so, uh, my buddy Lycos Thor has been playing that over at his YouTube channel. It's very, very pleasant. I, uh, I like, I like the characters in the game. They're very, very fun to, fun to experience. I'm gonna collect some stuff from this guy. Peter would love to play Halo again, or Gears of War. I never actually played Gears of War either. What even is Gears of War about? I don't, I don't know any, come to think of it, I don't know anything about Gears of War. Except, like, I, I, I might, I would probably be able to recognize the logo if I saw it. I would definitely be able to recognize the logo. Although, otherwise, eh, I don't know about that. Can't tell, forgot, eh, it's okay. No problem, no problem. Honestly, I can just look it, I can just look it up at some point. Maybe. I don't remember, was Gears of War for like Xbox maybe? I, I it might have been it might have been because for the longest time I did not have the right system to play uh Gears of War on. I know I know a lot of a lot of the games that I never got to play was because I never had like like for a while I actually I never had a PS3 to be honest. Uh, my fiance has a PS4 now, which I get to play uh, at her at her parents' house. Um but like for the most part, there are some games that I, I was always like a, we always had Nintendo game. Uh, we always had Nintendo platforms in our house growing up. So usually that's what we would do. Indeed. Just had an amazing experience with the gameplay, man. Ah, 
Remember when Halo 5 was released? It was like, hell yeah, you have an Xbox 360. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, uh, let's see. Halo 4 was fun on the 360. I like that. Never got the Halo 5. I think that was kind of after my, like, my Halo phase. I kind of went, like, through, like, a Halo phase. I played it a lot in high school, but then afterwards, not necessarily. But yeah. Then the, that, that one, then it was an Xbox exclusive. Was that one really an Xbox? Oh. The Halo 5 was an Xbox One exclusive. That sucks. That's so stupid. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I suppose, like, I, got, I gotta wonder whether or not, like, if they do it as an exclusive, is it, like, urgh, like, ang angering? Like, yeah. But also, it's possible that they, they just can't run it on older hardware or very possibly like if they did run it on older hard hardware it would like totally interrupt the experience of the game in which case i completely understand that i could completely see why that would be an issue i need cooked meat i gotta cook the meat cook the meat cook the meat in the fridge it was 2015 it was 2015 and that was a while ago I, I sometimes, I often forget the flow of time. It was about a while since Halo 4 came out. That is incredible to me. Ooh, steel parts. And a lot of, I got blue points. That's cool. Blue points are good. Steel parts. All right, so I build, I did alchemy. Why? Why did I do alchemy? Why did I do alchemy? I wanted to do alchemy for the fertilizer, I think. Right? Uh, and for the fertilizer, I need it. Oh, okay, okay. I remember, I remember. Time is relative. You're totally right, time is relative. Interesting fact about time. Because I took a class on relativity one time. Physics 3 was crazy. But, but, so, you know, the faster you move in space, the slower you move in time. The faster you move in time, the slower you move in space. So, the reason why time dilation occurs is when you're really, really close to, let's say, a black hole. hey -o, Interstellar in the movie. When you're going around that fast, you're moving incredibly slow in time. So, pass, time passes by slower for you relative to other people. And supposedly there's some theory in gravity as well, in there as well. It might not necessarily be your motion around the black hole, but the amount of gravity they would experience so close to it. Anyway, science. Shit like that's so cool. But you know. I was also, you know what's also really cool too? Apparently, you can surpass the speed of light. But recall, light can slow down in a medium when it's not a vacuum. So light travels a little bit slower in water than it does in air. So technically speaking, if you send particles through water faster than the speed of light can travel in water, you get this really, really cool, like, blue light effect. Like, blue, like, light radiation. It looks super freaking cool. I think it's called, like, Kreshnov or something radiation. Anyway, it's so dope to watch videos of. And that's so cool. Once... Once Peter was a child happy with a PS2 with two games, Naruto and Lego Star Wars. And now you're a poor teenager that is unemployed who can't play anything because you don't have a decent PC and sold your Xbox to buy a guitar. But you're happy and that's what matters. It's so cool. That's good though. I have a buddy of mine. I, I, honestly, things will change one day. And I'm sure you'll be able to get that gaming console back one day. I have a buddy of mine who, for a very similar reason, he had to sell every single one of his Legos in order to pay rent. And that was probably one of the most depressing things I have ever heard in my life. And so I have a ton of Legos in my car right now. And I plan on building a couple things for him. Because I want to give him the Legos that he doesn't already have. I, uh, I went to a Lego museum recently. Uh, while I was traveling with my fiance. And we found... It's technically not a Lego museum. It's the unofficial brick museum. Lego wants nothing to do with this place. But they had like, this gigantic... Like gigantic Star Destroyer. Like... Like, like bigger than my desk. It was absolutely insane. I took a whole video of it. It's so crazy. Oh, you know what? I should totally upgrade, upload that video because it's topical. I should upload that video to the Discord server later so I can share that. Just because I'm thinking of it right now, it was so, so freaking cool. I gotta remind myself about that. But it was, it was so, it was so awesome. Um, but I want to build him something to give to him for like his birthday or for Christmas or something to be like. These are for all the Legos that you don't currently have. It'd be so cool. And is that real? The whole light thing? Fast and the speed of light thing? Yes, it is. Look it up. It's awesome. I saw a video of it on TikTok. But TikTok can be an educational place. 
as more as it can be a place for total debauchery. I use it for a variety of purposes. For example, learning new things like that, finding new research topics, learning about the world around me. It's a wonderful place. Okay, so I, let me think about this. I did alchemy because I wanted to do, I wanted to wear, do fertilizer. And I need, I can only make fertilizer if I have these elixirs. I thought that you could make elixirs at the alchemy table, and I probably can, but I'm missing an ingredient. There is a certain ingredient, a final type of ingredient that I don't have on me right now, and I don't, I don't know what it is. So I wonder, I wonder what it could possibly be. It's not powder, it's not the, or you know what, actually, let me take a look. Because it seems like there are different types of, like, materials. For example, um, oh, come on, give me, give me a good, give me an example. Come on, give me an example. This thing can be can decomposed into dust. Uh, anything else, anything else, anything else, anything else? Apparently not. Let me research stone. I haven't researched stone yet. Now, now is probably the best time for it. Piece of stone, research it. Hey, yo, knowledge. Knowledge is power. It cannot be decomposed. <laughs> Fine, then. Be that way. But, mm, let's see. What else? You can make powder. You can make little... Little, little, little vials of stuff. Um, and I'm just wondering... What else? Have I not researched anything yet? I haven't researched grapes yet. I'll research grapes. Uh... I wonder if... Mm, let me take... This turns into dust, that t t turns into... I don't know what that is, actually. Actually, let me take... Let me take the heart. The heart might decompose into something new. Uh, and do I have anything else that I need to research? I really don't. Let me see if I can decompose the heart. Decompose the heart into its most... Principal components. The quintessential heart. Nope, I cannot decompose a heart here. This is a hand mixer. I need a preparation place. I... I can create them at preparation places. How do I decompose a heart? I do not, you know, yet. Let's research grapes in the meantime while we ponder things. Oh, wow, that took a lot of... It cannot be decomposed, but I got a hell of a lot of... Whoa, look at that! It's a lot of green. All right, well, I don't think I can do anything with the heart here. No. Uh, no. What about... Can I do anything with this? Bucket of blood. Ah. Okay. I don't know what to do with the heart. Let me see. What else can I have here? Oh, alchemy mill. I don't have an alchem alchemy mill yet. Oh, you know what else I don't have? I don't have a distillation cube. What the hell is a distillation cube? I'm gonna make a distillation cube. I just need a little bit of a little more more stone and some complex iron parts. That sounds awesome. What the hell is a distillation cube? I want to distillate distillate in a cube. I do really excited about that for some reason. Oh my god. Let's make some sandwiches. While we're, while we're on the topic, let's make some sandwiches. Mmm, sandwiches. I remember very early on in my streaming career, I got really obsessed with sandwiches. But previously, uh, before, uh, while I was still in school, and before I got my job, I would stream during the mornings. I would usually stream like Friday morning Wednesday Friday mornings, which is lovely. I love I love being able to stream when the light is out But I really haven't had a chance like that in a while technically I work from home tomorrow, but I can't stream I gotta do work or else otherwise me no get paid me need to get paid speaking of which tomorrow's Thursday and that's payday How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming since about the beginning of the year. It's about nine months now just about um, a little bit longer technically I did like a test stream last year but I didn't actually start doing things on like any sort of consistent way until a little bit later. But uh, man, I'm having I'm having a blast. I I love this whole thing. I stream for a variety of reasons, and one of the reasons I I, I began earlier on was because it kind of filled a gap that high school theater left in me after I left and didn't do theater. I haven't done theater in a while. Just the opportunity hasn't presented itself, and when it did, it really wasn't the right people for me. But so this kind of re 
re-enlighten my performing spirit, which I loved. I love Dak. It's so fun. I like to do improv. I like to do musicals. I like to do plays. A lot of it. You put a script in front of me, and I'm happy to recite it just for just for shits and giggles. Poetry would probably be really fitting too if I ever had the patience to sit down and memorize poetry, but I don't know if I have that kind of discipline. I mean, I do if I had a reason to, but like, I just don't know. I, I need, somebody's gotta give me a reason for it or else I don't know. I, anyway, that helped. Um, a couple other people that I knew had already streamed. I had uh, the person who got me into streaming and really pushed me towards it and really encouraged me was a streamer by the name of Meatball Girl. Meatball Girl, I don't remember, I think Meatball Girl. Yeah, Meatball Girl. She's really cool, really, really close friend of mine. Um, she'll probably be popping by sometime soon, within the next month or so. Uh, she says she's planning on coming over at some point, but she got me into it. And then I started talking with my buddy Lycos Lore, who also uh, began streaming as well. I think he he streamed a little bit before. I think he started a little bit before I did. He um he was doing some community service uh, for by streaming. He was uh, fulfilling his community service requirements by streaming and raising money for last year's Thankmas. Which was like super awesome. And speaking of which too, Thankmas is happening again this year too. And I plan on doing a charity stream at some point too. Although I have yet to put together any details of it. So I have not yet announced anything yet. But happy Thankmas all. It's coming in December. Details up and coming. Like us, Laura and I are going to try to do something together with that. That's going to be awesome. That's like a friends friends, friends who stream type thing. Yeah, kind of. I mean, all I you know, I know Lycos doesn't really stream too much. He mostly does YouTube, and Meatball Girl hasn't really been into streaming recently, but she's trying to get back into it. It's it's a it's all about being like in the right mental space too. But she's not quite in the right mental space right now to be doing stream stuff, so she's taking a break from it. But you know, I'll, hopefully, um, if she you know, things will get better. Things are getting better there. We're all we're all keeping keeping each other's hands held there. But uh, and I also found too like even my other friends who don't stream at all. And uh, we, I was able to get like a lot closer to them by some of the things I did. I actually, a really, really close friend of mine uh, named Pepper, I was doing a cocktail stream one time and Pepper popped on and was like, yo, I know this is short notice, but I was inspired by your cocktail stream to, to ask if I can come over and do like a cocktail night with you. And I was like, yes. I would love to have you over. Please come over more often. We're trying to figure out when to get together next, but uh, finals week for her, and I've just been really busy at work, so I've been a little... Things have been a little hectic over here, but it's great. Uh, once they do stream, tell me. I'd love to check them out. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what I'll, what I'll do right now, just so they're just so they're, they're on people's radar, being that you're asking about it, is my buddy Lycos underscore Lore and Meat ball girl i think i think those are their tags right now i could I, I might be i might be incorrect i don't think i'm incorrect but i'm pretty sure i am meatball girl recently changed her tag so i'm not i'm unsure whether that's still the one or not but alas these are two people that are very fundamental for me very very close friends of mine so i would i would support pass along support to your fellow small streamers in the world and then we can all be happy together. We can all be happy together. I need to make my distillation cube. How do I make my cube again? I needed pieces of stone and complex iron parts. I'm currently making the complex iron parts. That's what I'm doing now. Complex iron and partsy. I need eight of those and I need one more piece of stone. I'm gonna go up and break a rock in the marsh. I'm gonna go break some rocks in the marsh. That'll be how I make my get my stone. I think there's rocks up here. Previously, I previously I did, right? I, there were definitely stones up here, I think. Whoa, hi there, bats. Hey, hey, hey what's going on, everybody? Hey, 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 what's going on? Hey, hey. Uh, I'm here because of a streamer that you watch. I think it was Neko. Yeah, I believe. I think um you popped in when Neko raided last week. Neko was really cool. I met her very early on in my streaming career. I think I was playing some... I was playing Soul Worker. I know she's a big Soul Worker fan. And so I was playing quite a bit of Soul Worker, which I only play with my fiance. I have not played it in a while. I have not played it in a very long while because uh, Anna's doing her clinical right now. Um, but so she, Anna and I really like to play Soul Worker together. And actually I like to play it with my buddy, like Oslor, who I'd mentioned before. And also my buddy Final Rhapsody as well, who stream doesn't really stream very often. He, I wouldn't consider him to be a streamer, per se, but he pops on every once in a while when he's got the time to. Awesome, awesome guy. I play I play card games with him. Uh, recently, we've been playing a, a card game called Flesh and Blood, which apparently most people don't know about. 
That's all right. It's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty cool. Indeed. Oh, Neko was on playing with a few people today. Awesome, awesome. Usually I'm not... Unfortunately, I don't wind up popping into other people's streams very often. Nine times out of ten, or let's say most hours out of the day, I'm at work. But what I like to do is if there are people who are going live, I have, I have my computer set up here, which I can remotely log into. And if I know that there's somebody going online, I will remotely log into the computer and say, Hey, by the way, I'm at work right now, but I'm going to leave my computer on because I like lurking and supporting my peeps. Um, so I've done that a couple of times, but I, I can't really sit there and watch. Like, I feel, I feel bad that I can't, like, sit there and be attentive, but I know, personally, the way I feel about it is, even if you popped in and lurked and didn't say a word, I acknowledge your presence, and I appreciate you being here. You don't have to say a thing. I don't mind at all. I'm just happy that you're here. And so I think this, I, I hope that most of the people I know are more or less the same way. Like, if I, if I pop in and I don't say a thing, but at least I'm there, I hope you appreciate it. And if not, well, I'm sure you'll make it obvious to people eventually, and I, I guess that's just your prerogative, in which case that's totally fine. But you played with a few people today, and it's funny thing that you got back to watch because of VTubers. Nice. I got a buddy of mine too who's also a VTuber. Actually, actually, is that my, gonna be my future brother-in-law too. Uh, they go by Thank, I guess. Thank, I guess, on Twitch. Wonderful guy. He hasn't streamed in a while either. Same thing. I think it's a Headspace thing. But uh, he's also a VTuber. Made his own model and everything, which is really, really cool. I, I've always wanted to, like, learn about 3D modeling and stuff. But honestly, I'm only good with, like, parametric 3D modeling programs. And not very good uh, otherwise. Uh, I'm trying to... It, it's, a, it's a skill that I'm trying to get into. Because if I know how to 3D model and render and stuff like that, then I can better make... Um, I can better make cosplay stuff. Because I can model it out and, like blender and then send it to my 3d printer which i have which would be pretty awesome but i'm not that super good on it it's a work in progress but i like that kind of stuff peter chris joined in 2016 and never really liked any streamer until july of this year that's really cool i feel like when you say that i don't know why i, I mean okay the, when you say that the thing that comes most adamantly to my mind is when I experienced beer for the first time and I was like I don't like beer because it tastes like beer and I don't like beer and it wasn't until I found the right beer because saying that you don't like beer for example is an extremely like it's an ext it's like saying like oh I don't like fruit like there is a shit ton of fruits out there how do you not like any fruit at all seems a little seems a little like wow that's crazy same thing I would say same thing for like I mean, I, I thought of beer because that was the thing that was most readily available in my head to pick on to. I was like, I don't like beer. But then I found beers that I do like, and I started opening up my mind a little bit and being open to more bitter flavors and stuff. And I was like, all right, I can take that. Same thing with cocktails and whatnot. But, like, same thing. I feel like there's a certain, like, there's, like, a certain, like, type of personality for streamers that you're looking for. And if you don't know that they're out there, you're going to be like, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't watch streams. But, like, so, you know, sometimes you find the right individual, and that's, that's awesome. That's great. Then, you're visiting smaller streamers and VTubers, and man, you meet so many nice people, and tried visiting before with the big streamers, but never had fun. I, I feel very similarly with the big streamer thing, but I think of it this way. I think of it this way, and I, honestly, I don't, I don't pop in for most big streamers, but then again, I don't pop in for most streamers anyway, just because, again, I, it's like a, it feels like it's a time commitment that I want to give, but I know I can't right now, or don't really have the patience for, I guess, to, if I'm being completely honest. Um... But I know, like, I think of, like, those big, big streamers as being, like, like, at a concert, just teleported to the wrong location. Whoops. But, like, I think of it like going to a concert, right? Like, when I go see concerts, or when I used to go see concerts, like, I go to watch the band. I am there for the band, and I am there for the music, and I am there for experience. I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to the band members at all. Like, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get a word in chat, like, at all. However... I'm happy that I'm here, and I'm supporting the per the person that I'm here for the- I'm, It's like a performance for them, and I'm there for the performance. So I would think, like, joining a big streamer's crowd is like going to watch, like, a concert. Like, you're there for the show, and probably the other people who are there, you're there for the show, and you're also for the people who are also around you and chatting to talk around with. But chances are, you're probably not going to get the opportunity to talk to the person who's on stage. Meanwhile, I like to think of, like, small streams, like, small communities like this, where it's kind of like, it's kind of like you go to, like, uh, I, I would like, I like to liken myself more to, like, a bartender, in the sense that, one, I make cocktails, and I really enjoy it, I love to make conversation, but more 
or less, I'm just kind of doing my thing. And if you pop in here and say something aside from, yo, I'll take a Bloody Mary, then we jive with it from there. And I really enjoy, I personally really enjoy that aesthetic. And honestly, I don't even know what I would wind up doing if, if stardom happens to me or any of my pals one day. Would it be cool? Absolutely. But it'd be a completely different dynamic. And honestly, I have no idea how I would deal with that because I would miss the social interaction and the closeness that you feel with the people who pop in. But you know, that might be in the stars one day. And if it is, well, that'll be, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But in any case, but yeah, why would, why would you stay here watching this guy that has like 8,000 viewers when you can watch clips on YouTube? Totally accurate point. Uh, you can support them in other ways than staying hours and hours on Twitch. So when you found this small world streamers, you had something else to see on the stream. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like for the most part, and I completely understand that logic there, right? I feel like I don't, like, personally, I don't know if I want to spend hours and hours watching a dude on Twitch. And to be fair, to be fair, I used to stream a whole hell of a lot longer than I do now. I would go for like six to eight hours on average when I had more time on my hands. And I could go the entire way. I think my record is 14 hours. That was quite a time. But like, I enjoyed it. That's beside the point. But I, for one, me personally, could not sit there and watch you straight on for 14 hours and watch you. However, I can absolutely have a tab open for you in the background. I can be doing other things while I, I mostly, whenever I watch my friends, I have their screen on and I have my headphones in and I'm listening to them. For the most part, especially some of my closer friends, I have their videos on in the background. I'm not necessarily watching. I can watch a YouTube video for like a half hour, but I, can, I can't sit there in the stream, but I can keep my headphones on and listen to what you're saying because oftentimes I personally find, ha I, I think half the show is this stuff with the video game and half the show is just whatever comes through your headphones. And so I you know my quality is good for that and whatever we're saying on stream, I, I think that's a huge part of it. I completely agree with that. Anyway, what does a distillation cube do? What can I do with the distillation cube? I can put hearts in the distillation cube. Time to put the hearts in the distillation cube. Look at that. Nice. Anyway, anyway. Um, Small world of streamers, yeah. And if the community grow up, grows up and gets like real big, we'll still be around to like, you know, be like, so proud of this guy. So proud of this guy. Exactly. Exactly. Honestly, at that level, if like, if somebody like me were ever to be able to get to that, that sense, uh, whoa, ever to get to that point, the priority will then become one, like, how can I feel okay with this? And how can I make this a performance that like, I am proud of still? And also, what kind of good can I do with the with the with the power that you now wield? Because if you have like if you've got like a thousand followers on social media, you got power in your hands, but you gotta use it wisely. Personally, I have no idea what I would do with that power yet. So if I got a thousand followers tomorrow, don't. Please don't. I don't know what to do yet. Let's work our way up gradually. And then we'll talk in like 50 years. And then we'll be fine. But um, it'll be it'll be completely different. It'll be completely different if it ever happens, and I am not expecting it to do so. But wouldn't that be? It's a, it's a crazy world we live in. Things happen all the time. But yeah, if I honestly, aside from everything, if there's anything that I could do to like support too, like that's that's mostly what I'm here for. Another reason that I continued streaming earlier on was the fact that, like you had said before, you find so many like really nice people out there. I have learned so many really interesting things just putting on this performance. And granted, I call it a performance mostly because, like, this is the stage, and that is the audience. This is the camera that goes to the audience. All y'all people is talking down there, that's the audience. That's why I call it a performance. It's not like I'm faking it or anything. I don't think I can- You can't fake something this authentic. Anyway, ego put aside. But, like, I love the fact that I can just kind of learn a bunch of new things from a lot of people. Oftentimes, it's got a lot to do with whatever game that I'm playing at the time. I'll- uh, a lot of times I learned a lot about the game Celeste when I played it from the speedrunners in that community. I learned a lot of things about people who really enjoyed Hat in Time as much as I did. Um, I think I met the speedrunners from when I played Chibi Robo as well. There's just so many people out there who know a ton about the games. They know like the, the secrets. They know like the tips and tricks. They know the history of it all. And just in general, like, you know, I bring up the topic of music often because I'm a big music listener and I really like listening to music and some people would feel like, this is my favorite band or this is what I like to talk about. This is how I relate to whatever it is you're saying. 
And I love that. Or, or especially too, I like to do cocktails. I like to do that. Alcohol appears on the show. Watch out, youngins. But so, uh, I'll get cocktail recipes too, which is super freaking awesome. Because I can only get so much from all the, all the books that I have. Like, uh, let's reach for a book back here. Like, I can only get so much from the girls' night book. What if I don't have, uh, Jose Cuervo 1800 tequila, de Serena amaretto, and margarita mix? Ew. Don't use margarita mix. Make your own. But anyway. What if I don't have that stuff? We could make something different. I just obtained life extract. Awesome. And I'm going to research that. So apparently this is the final ingredient in... Um, this is the final ingredient in alchemy. That's so cool. Eat some beets. Okay. Now I've completed the study of life extract. And I'm going to put all this stuff together. I wonder if it'll work. I'm going to put... I'm going to put... Uh, I don't know. Let's just put the right ones together, right? Life powder. Let's do life extract, a uh, life solution, and life extract, and craft them together. What do we get? Let's see. What do we get if I combine all the lives together? Goo of chaos and goo of health. The heck is goo? I got goo now. Nice. That's excellent. That's excellent. Oh. Can you mention someone here? Is this against the chat rules? I can't see them on the phone because they're on your phone. Ah, yeah, feel free to mention somebody. You're more than welcome to. If you got something on your mind, feel free to put it in there. If I, I like to play by the game of let's see, let's break the rules, and then we'll realize, and then we'll realize that we have to make some more. But I don't see any harm in it. I mention all of my fellow stream people all the time. It's, it would be unfair for me to be like, you're not allowed to mention your fellow streamers. That's wrong. Don't do that. Please, go right ahead. Speak your mind. Oh, I don't have enough energy. I gotta have more energy. Make some goo. Goo of health. I have made goo. I have made goo. I do not know what to do with the goo. But apparently it can be... Oh, it can be decomposed into whatever I want it to be. That's convenient. I also need more place to store things. So I'm gonna put the goo in here too. A and this stuff. When I did that, I want to try other combinations. I don't, I have no idea what kind of combinations I'm going to find. Do I, is there like a list of, do I have like a reference of like what I can and can't make? Like, is there a record of that somewhere? No? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I really don't know then. Um, let's try, I don't know, health? Uh, life and more. Li Actually, let's do health, order, and life. Yeah, let's do that. What'll it be? I have no idea. No idea. I got goo of health and gold goo. <laughs> I got gold goo. What does that do? I have no idea what to use gold goo for. Wait, I made gold. I did it. I made gold. I'm a real alchemist now. Nice. Can be decomposed into powder. That's cool. In July, you met this VTuber called Kupu. Supu? CPU. LVU. VLU. C Kupu. And because of her, you're here today talking to me. So cool. I'm sure they're wonderful. I'm sure she's a wonderful individual. I... Just because, just because I can, I'm gonna write it on the closest bit of, you know, I don't actually have any pieces of paper on my desk today. I do have many pieces of foam, because I've been working on cosplay stuff, but I like to write reminders of myself of keywords and stuff, so I'ma put, I'ma put a name down. CP LVU. Let's drop some support for Kupu. Supu? Kupu? Am I pronouncing that right? I hope I am. Yeah! Oh, I definitely spelled that wrong. Oh, there we go. I did not write that right. This is my shitty handwriting on a piece of foam. In any case. Nah, spread the love, everybody. Spreading the love. I can apparently decompose this goo. Nope, decompose it into powder. How do I decompose it into powder? I decompose it into powder over there. Uh, goo of health? I can get, I can get stuff from that. Oh, I need two of them. Oh, I need more goo. I don't have enough goo. Gotta get more goo. 
Mm. I'll put more goo in the chest until I eventually figure out how to do that. Actually, oh, if I get the alchemy mill, I bet I can push things down. Into... Yeah, that'll do it. I bet it's the alchemy mill. And for that, I need marble. Did I research marble yet? I'm not exactly sure if I did. Marble? Marble columns? I didn't do marble yet. All right. Oh, but that's not marble. It's carved stone. It's not... It's polished brick of stone. Yeah, okay. Okay, I gotta do that. You know the butterfly effect? I do know the butterfly effect. I think... Isn't that a movie or a book? Anyway, I, it was very relevant in... Definitely at least one movie I watched. So, it's basically that. If you hadn't met her, you wouldn't have searched for similar small streamers. So, you wouldn't have found Neko, and then you wouldn't be here. There we go. Chain of events. What a world we live in. I love stuff like that. It's cool. A domino effect. Butterfly effect, domino effect. It's cool when things like that happen. So we can thank Kupu. Much love and support for Kupu. We can thank Neko. Much love and support for noble Neko of the kingdom of Spring Garden. It's an inside joke. I have a, I mean, we have a kingdom over here. It's currently winter, so it's Winter Garden now. But um, everybody has a place in the kingdom of Winter Garden, apparently. And you wouldn't have the friendship with the people that live ab live abroad. Oh, absolutely. Dude, one of the things that I did before I got my job now, and still, I technically still do some freelance work for them, but it's it's been really tough to do things, um, is a, a hosting company called Spark Toast. And they, they do server hosting and stuff, and I helped out for a little while. Um, still kind of do. Mostly mostly moral support, I'd say, at this point. But um, I met a ton of people over overseas for that, and I think there are a lot of people who I know who come across from, like, England and Spain and other places and India and it I honestly would not have met them if not for if not for the fact that I bought a server a long time ago had a problem with the server got asked if I wanted to get a job and then decided to, to, to you know actually go through and do the application so butterfly effect there too it all comes back together and in a wonderful 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 way that's I think that's beautiful Okay, I am going to create another alchemy thing. I need the alchemy mill, and for that I need polished bricks of stone. How do I make polished bricks of stone? I make it as stone cutter two. Polished brick of stone, stone cutter, or stone cutter two. Do I even have a stone cutter? I don't think I do. Do I have a stone cutter? I I can make a stone cutter too if I have a couple more pieces of planks. Let's make some pieces of planks. Any wooden planks? Let's do three of them. Because I got plenty of flitches. Plenty of flitches for plenty of planks. Plenty of planks for you and your family. Maybe not your family. Does your family want wooden planks? Maybe your father's building something or something. Maybe your mother's building something. Maybe your non-binary parent is attempting to build something and require boards. In which case, we got them. For the cheap price of... We're not selling. You gotta get your own. Where am I gonna put this thing? Can I can I put the stone cutter up near the quarry? I hope so, because I'm I honestly don't have enough space down here. Uh stone cutter? I can't make the stone cutter two. But I can make the stone cutter one up here? That seems a little odd. I don't know if I like that. Okay, um. Interesting, I guess. What do I do about that? Oh, well, let's see. What other amenities can I build up here? Iron stockpile, stone cutter goes up here. Mm. All right, well, I guess I'll build a small stone cutter up here, which means flitches and nails. So I'll do that. By the way, man. What's up, dude? You have no idea how much you've improved your English these months. Now that you mention it, I think I do have an idea. Because to be perfectly honest, I completely forgot up until this moment that English is not your first language. English is your second language. Nice, dude. I've always wanted to. I, I've always wanted to go back and relearn or get, get more up to snuff on my German. Was Max do? What you doing? But I was always pretty shitty with the grammar, like in the comprehensive part, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations, sir. I for one. I think that is a wonderful thing and if i if if i could like if i could pick a language it would definitely be german i tried spanish they tried to teach me spanish i did spanish for like eight years and i i don't think i can even speak a comprehensive sentence anymore because i didn't practice 
And also because Spanish class was literally the same thing every single year. They taught you the same things every single year, probably to attempt to like lay the foundational work. But wow, that it did not work very well. I very embarrassed to say I don't really know how to speak Spanish anymore. And honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of losing the German part of it too. So if I don't get back into practice, that'll be it. Which would be rather unfortunate. Let's see, I need flitches and I need nails. And I'm gonna go back to the quarry, build my stone cutter, and that'll be wonderful. I think honestly, I think of learning a language as something that is so. Oh wait, this is the stone cutter. I find I I think to myself that like like. Learning another language is like so beyond me because technically I've never I've never been able to become fluent in any other language But that can change one day that can totally change. Oh if I have my chisel I can oh that's so cool. Oh my god Like you couldn't understand certain videos on YouTube But now you can have like full conversations with people with different accents or people that speak faster than usual nice I feel like that was I think that was probably one of the harder parts of German and also Spanish as well because like once you like if you know the language which often fluent uh, native speakers all do they speak like really really fast and I can't understand you when you're speaking that fast frankly I just realized that at this point I speak very very fast and I realize that now that I've become aware of it but I do speak very very fast at times and sometimes that can be detrimental Frankly, I bet I would be able to attract more potentially non-English as first language speakers if I just talked a little more slowly. But to be honest, it's like 10.30 at night. I get tired at these hours. If my mouth isn't going, I'm going to fall asleep. Honestly, I also I also thought that this this light situation that I got over here was going to make me like really tired really quickly because like the light is like shining on my face a lot brighter than usual. But I'm doing all right. Although... Granted, it is about 10.30. We've been living like two and a half hours now. It's crazy. Well, no, why am I sleeping? Stop. Don't wake. No. Stop. Wake up. Ugh. You do you. It's cool. Thank you. Thank you. I do me. You do you. We do we. It'll be great. And so long as we can do that, the world will be a happier place. I'm going to take my chisel, which I now know that I can use, make my way back up to the quarry, make myself quite a few pieces of polished stone. I really don't know how many I need. How many pieces of... Oh, I can only do one at a time? Alright. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Nice. Polished brick of stone. Let's do it again. Oh, if I had more... If I had more chisels, because I do... Could I do more at once? Oh, did my chisel break? Oh, it had to pop out of my inventory to go back into my inventory. Interesting. I'm getting blue points for this, though. That's awesome. That's a good, good thing. Now, I think four will be enough. Now I can go back to Sweet Home and see what else I need for this alchemy mill because I know there's probably more and I've honestly forgotten what it is that I require. Hydration. Did I just walk back here? Can I do that? I didn't know I could walk back here. I had no idea I could access these barrels. Not that they do anything though, but... Let's see. Alchemy mill, I need... Three more pieces of plank and four simple iron parts. So let's go do that. But like in Spanish and German, how long did I study that? So I did Spanish all through elementary school and all through middle school. So that was eight years total. In German, I did all through high school. So it was about four years. And honestly, because it was more recent, I know German better than I know Spanish. The Spanish, I just kind of completely fell out of. Which, again, it's rather unfortunate. But, like, I know it's possible to relearn them again. My fiancé, for a while, started learning German on her own. She had never she had never taken a German class. I think she took French classes. But she started using an app called, like, Duolingo. And supposedly, that makes it, like, really, really convenient to do stuff like that. Um, which would be, you know, that's, that's awesome. And I think what I really want to try to do is also, as well, try to do that Duolingo thing at some point. Because, uh, you know, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to become a little more fluent, and that can be something that I do in my spare time. Simple parts. Let's make some more simple iron parts. Got plenty of iron now. Let's do that. You say but and like a lot. Damn. And see it indeed. I... I do too. I, I do a lot of that as well. Honestly, that just might be... Some could say that's... I almost did it. I almost said like. And then I just did. I don't know. I feel like... 
There I go again. Look at that. Anyway, they're like, they're like, um, there's a word for them. It's like, it's not a nervous tick. It's not that. It's like, they're filler words. Like, but, filler words, um, they're all filler words. And that's, honestly, it's just a part of language. It's just a way to buy my mind some time to come up with the next word that I want to use. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Of course. Now I'm not one of those people who, like, I talk like this all the time because, like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I, it's like that, you know? I try not to do that. Because I feel that there are those are just from a from a from a different perspective, that is way too many comparisons. Like is a comparison. That's way there's way too many comparisons made in one statement. Like, I can be sure on a couple things. Bilingual feelings, trilingual in my case. I, I I'm not even gonna call myself bilingual. I'm not even gonna say that I'm fluent in any other language except for English. Pig Latin and German. Okay, I'm, I'm fluent in Pig Latin and, ger and gibberish. So yes, let's 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 call me trilingual. I'll take that. I'll take that. Pig Latin being like like ilingual tre inne urie aske ole ole. That would be a lol in Pig Latin. Ole. I feel stupid just saying it, but I'm proud of it for a while. I know like when I first got social media, like when I first got my Facebook, I definitely re remember it, le remember it asking like, what languages do you speak? And I was like, oh, I speak Pig Latin and gibberish. And it might still be on my Facebook, to be honest, because that sounds exactly like a thing that I would do and keep on there. And that's great. You'd say that you're fluent in Portugal and Portunhol. It's Portunol like a, like a, like a, oh, Portunol, Nol, like Espanol and Portuguese together? Kind of like, kind of like, um, there's a, uh, I think the, the colloquial English and Japanese together, or English and like, I guess, e Eastern languages? I don't know exactly how it works, is the, the Ingr English, you speak a little English, it's just because like, they, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's like a good equivalence of the letter L in, in the, I don't even know. Anyway, I think they call it English. But like... Pochagnol! Pochagnol! England... Uh, I don't even know. English? I don't, I don't really know. But... Nice. Where did I get this life stuff? Oh, where did this come from? I did not mean to put that in there. Like Portuguese speakers speaking broken Spanish. Haha! <laughs> nice! Nice, nice! I dig that. I don't know why, but... You saying that remind me of a very interesting situation I witnessed one time. Actually, there, there's two interesting situations. The thing about language and, like, human communication is such a crazy and awesome thing. Like, you don't even have to be speaking the same language as somebody to understand and respond to what they're saying. For example... Um, oh, I left my sermon thing downstairs. For example, I've seen plenty of instances in, like, television where the main character is speaking English, but, like, the family member isn't speaking English. They're speaking in, like, Taiwanese or something because you come from, like, a Taiwanese family. And they speak back in Taiwanese, which naturally our main character can understand Taiwanese but can't speak it, or probably can, or doesn't prefer to. But the, the side character, the family member, can understand English but can't speak it. So you can have, like, those bilingual conversations, which is awesome. I actually witnessed that one time in a Walmart, which was so cool. I was walking by, and there was there was a gentleman who was speaking in English and a lady who was speaking in Spanish. And they were both going back and forth with each other. The woman was speaking Spanish, and the man was speaking English, and they were talking about light bulbs because I understood half of the conversation, and we were in the light bulb section. But I was like, that is so cool. We can all, like... All like understand each other with some limitations. And there's also you know the Spanglish and the Japanglish. They're so cool. All these semi languages. And then on another occasion too, this is slightly different than the whole like I guess bilingual conversations. But I was I, I was walking through a, a theme park and I saw two individuals who, like, I'm sure you've been in an argument before. I've been in arguments before. You get a little heated. You start speaking a little bit fast. You've got an inflection to your verse. And you just start getting, like, angry. And you start speaking in a very angry term. I witnessed two people who were mute having an argument in, a, in an amusement park one day. And 
one, I was like, oh, I feel bad that you're having an argument in the amusement park. Well, you should be having a fun time. But in the, but completely contrary to that, I was fascinated. I was like, wow, these these two individuals were signing to each other faster than I could have possibly ever interpreted. Like, I know, I know, like, I think, like, this is friend, maybe. Um, I know you can spell your name out in sign language, but they were going, like, full-on, like, ninjutsu action there as they were having this ar argument with each other. And the reason why I think I knew that it was an argument was not only were they, like, doing their hand motions in sign language, but they were also making sounds that further portrayed the emotion that they were putting behind the hand symbols. And don't get me wrong, from my untrained ears, it kind of just sounded like moans and grumbles to me. But even still, I was like, wow! This is really interesting. I have never seen an argument in a non-spoken language. And it was like, it's completely fascinating to me. They were doing all their whole ninjutsu thing. It was absolutely insane. But like, wow, it was really, really interesting to me. And super duper cool too that like, human communication. Like the fact that like, no matter what the limitations are, we're gonna try to communicate with each other. And granted, like the whole world, like all the animals in the world communicate with each other. It's not just humans either. Like dolphins communicate with each other and monkeys communicate with each other. All the plants communicate with each other. Did you know? And I don't know if it's actually like a communication type thing, but when you cut grass, grass screams. That smell of cut grass is the grass releasing scents. It's releasing molecules into the air as a means to warn and be like, hey, I was just, I just got hurt. I need to warn my other plant people, maybe. Or like, I know like when you, uh, when I pick leaves off my basil plant, it smells very prominently like basil because that's the plant's way of saying, oh my God, I've been hurt. Somebody help me, maybe. So like plants speak too in their own language they speak in smells and also too i i don't exactly know what it's called but you can like attach electrodes to plants and fungi and you can actually convert the electrical electrochemical signals from these fungus and and plants and convert them into music and they speak and they have a language and it sounds so esoteric and it sounds so mystical and it's insane look up like like mushroom music it's, it's so incredible. They basically plug these mushrooms into amps with a bunch of like really awesome circuitry. I'm really into that because of the circuitry aspect, but it's it's amazing. Oh. Damn, feel bad for the grass now. It's crazy. It's the smell of the chemical defenses and first aid. It's great. The smell is it trying to heal itself. That's very interesting and also very unfortunate because I know for a fact that when I cut that grass, you know for a fact when you heal itself, I'm gonna come back to get you all over again. Okay, I made, oh, I made the mill because I wanted to do the goo. I want to do the goo. I can put the thing in the goo. Oh, I need four goo. I need four gold goo in order to do the goo. Unfortunate. All right, well, what are the alchemical things that have I, what other alchemical things have I yet to research? I have the alchemy bench too. I have a study table. I have the hand mixer. I get the alchemy mill. I got the distillation cube. I got the church workbench. I do not have an alchemy rack. Let's make an alchemy rack. Let's make an alchemy rack. I like that idea. Nice. But speaking of the devil, Koopu is screaming. What's she screaming about? Is it a part of the stream? Is it a part of the performance? You'll pop over there and say hi before you go to sleep. Awesome. Not that it's any of my business, but let Koopu know that we all appreciate her presence, even though we have yet to meet her. But I'm sure she's a wonderful individual. And perhaps we'll have the chance to cross paths one day. I mean, there's literally thousands of people on the internet. Thousands of possible combinations, but being that there's a mutual connection now, it is much more likely where that is a reality. And if that happens to be in the stars one day, somewhere down the domino effect, I look forward to it. Because it's awesome to meet new people. I need to make wooden ball cube things. I don't do that. I need to do over here. Ah, uh, mushrooms. Mushroom music. Come by to say hi one day. I hope to do so. I hope I, I spelled the name correctly. It was a CPU, LVU, VLU. Good. If I can read it off of my own handwriting, then we're perfect. I need complex iron parts. Let's make some complex iron parts. After I finish these iron parts. We're cool. You're cool. 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 I'm into it. 
It's like twice times cool. Bye-bye. Have a good night. See you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Until next time, my friend. Peace. Good vibes till next time, y'all. Lycos out of that boy. I gotta make my complex iron parts. Let's make a few of them. I got. Let's make a ton of them. Let's make a shit ton of them. It'd be great. It'd be great. Consumption! Don't forget to hydrate or else you'll dehydrate. That's not my one lighter. It's somebody else's. I will not take credit for that. Somebody much more clever than I came up with that before me. And they deserve full credit for that. Although, to be honest, I completely forget who it was that said it first, so... Alas. Oh, I'm out of energy. Time to go to sleep. And then wake up the next morning. I think I'll do... I'll do one more week. I'm gonna do- I'm, I'm actually- I'm really, really into the game right now. So I'm gonna do one more week of Graveyard Keeper. I'll wait till next Sunday. After Mass, we'll be over. After Mass, that's where I'm gonna call it for the evening. I gotta put a limit on these things or else I will not get sleep. Although, technically speaking, technically speaking, I work from home tomorrow, so I could stay in a little late if I wanted to, but that wouldn't be very cash money of me and I'd feel really bad about it, so let's not. I'll try to get the get to sleep. I was like really really tired this morning for some reason. Also, I think my chair fell down. Hold on, I need to. There we go. I was wondering why I wasn't like. Did not feel very comfortable in my chair for a moment. But now I feel much more comfortable now. I was like, yeah, I definitely like. I woke up on the wrong. I woke woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I think. Um, I just didn't want to get up. Usually my first alarm goes off at 5:45, and I can snooze it every 15 minutes. And this time I snoozed. Until like 7.05. Which doesn't add up. Because I, I snoozed it four times. And then I said wake me up in five minutes. Or actually. Yeah whatever. Whatever it was. But I was like I was not into it. Consumption. Thank you for clipping me dearest. I, you're my ever, ever loving loving support. I miss you very much. I'll see you on Friday. Bye. I love you. I appreciate my fiance. My fiance gets a blow too. <laughs> nice. Yo Anna check this out. I can do it on command now. Watch this. I'm practicing my chops. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Working on my workbench, working on my workbench. Oh, I ran out of energy. Time to eat some beets. Time to consume some beets. No funny, no funny, fine no funny. No funny anymore, no more Cameron. Just Tobias. There is no more Cameron anymore, just Tobias, because Anna says I'm not funny. By the way, the Squash has a name, and his name is Tobias. You know, I just noticed something. It's not Tobias. Not yet. We have to... You see, you see it's not actually Tobias yet. Unless, we change it. Now time for Tobias Plays Graveyard Keeper. It's not camera, it's just Tobias. I didn't do anything in the squash. He came to sentience on his own. Oh no, Tobias, what will you do? You don't have any space for your alchemy rack. Oh, woe is you. Oh, look at that, Tobias. Good for you. You found a place for your spice rack. That's so cool. Good on you, Tobias. Good squash. What a good squash you are, Tobias. I love you, Tobias. You're a very nice squash. Tobias, I am very proud to say that you were a magnificent at video games. I love you, Tobias.
Toss a bit to your friendly neighborhood squash streamer. Tobias. I want Tobias to be a recurring character on this show, although I know for a fact that Tobias will eventually... rot. Or be made into a pie. The world is your oyster, Tobias! Would be great. What did I do to the squash? Yeah, no, I, I drew on him with marker. Him. I'm referring to him as him. That's correct. He is. He's rather phallic in shape, so I think I can suffice to say that pretty sure Tobias is a dude. Although... I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd look at- I'd show the camera what I'm looking at, but that would be very inappropriate for any children, because that's- that's just wrong. I was looking at Tobias's squash hole. Tobias has two squash holes. There's one on top and one on the bottom. And it's not really a hole either, it's just kind of a spot where a hole used to be. Potentially? Tobias, I might have misnamed you. Or you know what, Tobias, you can be anybody you want to. What's your preferred pronoun, Tobias? Let's flip a coin. Do I have a coin? I don't have a coin. Hmm. Well, eventually Tobias will decide for themselves what their preferred pronouns are. And when that day comes, we will respect Tobias's wishes. And it'll be wonderful. It'll be a world all about love. Hello, what's been the haps? Well, to sum things up for you, Lorelai, I got a job. The job is going well. I was tired. Now I'm not. And we have a butternut squash named Tobias, and we're digging up dead bodies. Or rather, we're putting dead bodies into the ground. Tobias, is it a hawk this time? Nah, no hawk. I don't, ha I don't think I can keep a living thing in my apartment that makes that much noise. Holy crap, that was a lot of red points. Nice. Sweet! Things are things are happening. Things are things are with the haps. The haps and the happy waps. I think I think I've been playing this game for like a month and a half now straight, but I really only have been streaming once a week, so it kinda it, I'm into it. It's spooky time. It's always spooky time. Uh let's see. Okay, so it is claw day. Uh actually, is there anything else that I can build here in my alchemy place? No, I think that's it. So I've completely filled up my alchemy lab. And have access to all the alchemies. Honestly, kind of want to do more alchemies. Let's do more alchemies. I want to do more alchemies. Let's see what I get. Actually, what else can I distill? Anything else? Is there anything else I can distill in here? Nah, not really. I can distill goo, but I need four of them. Yeah, it's Spooptober. It's on brand. It totally is. It totally is. Honestly, I started playing it back in September. And when October came around, I was like, oh, I should probably switch to another game. No, wait. This is perfect for the vibe. Let's keep with it. Also, I'm like really, really enjoying myself. It feels a lot similar to Stardew Valley. And my goal, honestly, what I'd like to do is I would like to just do a complete series on this. The goal is to be able to get up until the portal. The, essentially, the goal of this game is you're trying to escape from this isekai, which you've been transported into, where you star as the main character, a graveyard keeper. And you're trying to use the portal to get out. To be perfectly honest, I have not been making any progress on any of that, but I am having a whale of a time. A ghoul of a time? Nah, I don't know. Whale of a time. Whale of a time. Anyway, let's research things. I know there's more things that I can bring down here to, like, distill, but I don't know much of it yet. Can't break apart a feather. Can't break apart that. It doesn't de decompose. There's got to be more things that I can research now. Now that this is a thing, what else can I research? I haven't researched flitches yet. Let's research flitches. See what kind of points they give me. Oh, I can research... Oh, no, I can't research notes. No, no, no. no, no don't research those. That'll get rid of them. I haven't researched sand. Let's research sand. Nice. It cannot be decomposed. Acceptable. What about... Oh, I haven't completed any of the axes and stuff either. I haven't researched polished block of stone, which apparently takes three faith to work with. It cannot be decomposed, but my god, look at all those red points. Flitches. All right. Uh, Lord, I made some corkboard panels for the back of a hexagon shelving unit you installed. Dude, Awesome. That way, with, with the corkboard on the back of it, you can put, like, pins and stuff and whatnot. That is awesome. I suppose, I'm imagining the, the like, the hexagon shelving units being, like, they must be, like, pretty thin then, not, like, very deep. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see what's on the inside. Although, if they're not deep enough, then you wouldn't be able to put, like, little trinkets on the inside, too. So, I am curious about the layout, to say the least. Let's research sword. I want to research my sword. I can swing my sword, 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 my diamond sword. You know what else, too? I 
haven't done a lot of research into faith to create different types of prayers. If I have different types of prayers, I might be able to get more faith. What does this do? Sermon money, sermon faith 25 to 54%. This is create prayer for faith. I get more faith. I need to know how to make the prayer for faith. So how do I do that? Crafted a desk and desk two. Is that a desk? That's not a desk. Is this a desk? Desk. Let's craft a prayer. I need faith. <laughs> Just spent it all. Wow, that was pretty stupid of me. Oh, well. Well, I got all these chapters. That's cool. I got all these nice chapters here. Uh, do, are there any more book books that I can make? Like any more books that I've been able to study? No, not over here. I thought I could make more books. Embalming, embalming stuff, all these other whatever, whatever is. Uh, books? Oh, I can research books. Oh yeah, that's good. It only costs 10. I'm into it. Books, books, they're great for your books. Booking books and more in books. Inventing stories? Oh, I can't do that yet. Oh, it's whatever. Now I can make books, right? Oh, but I need, oh, look at that. I need soft covers. I can craft that at a church book workbench. Soft cover. Let's make some soft cover. I need pigskin paper. Easy. Sort of. I need some skin. Oh, I can make hardcover books too, which require... Oh, look at that. That's impressive. Hardcover for books. Oh, damn. There's a lot that goes into this game. I really... This is so cool. I feel like I'm more satisfied by this game than I am by Stardew Valley, at least right now, because there's a lot more crafting involved. I found that Stardew Valley, I, from what I could tell, did not have enough crafting for my, for my particular tastes. I love crafting games. I'm a spoiled Minecraft brat. I'm into it. it it's, just, it's just my thing. But let's see. I want to see if there's any other structures that I can build over here in the distillation area. I want to say my alcohol making facility is all completely up to snuff i have everything that i could possibly need alcohol distiller got all that stuff I'm all good there um what other stuff what other stuff can i build like um oh it's merchant's day let me go collect my let me go collect the things there and go into town and actually actually let's go into town ta nah, okay 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 let's go into let's go grab these harvest harvest some grapes Plenty of grapes. Oh, wow. Four grapes. Nice. Four seeds, too. Indeed. Oh, that was a good one. All right. Now I'm going to make my way to town so I can very quickly go and sell some stuff here. Trade. Let's give you the burial certificate. And I don't know. Let's sell you two beets. Things. Finish that offer. Can I buy anything from you of significance? Anything good? Onion rings. But like top quality onion rings. That's pretty cool. Can I talk to you yet? Bad luck are ye. Not today. Okay, fine. Go home. Stupid captain. You know, moon floozy. More wine. More wine, please. I'm gonna try to see... Can I afford... I can. I can afford uh, four very, very nice grape seeds. So I'm gonna grab some of those. And take those. Awesome. Alright, now I'll head back into town. Head back, back to sweet home. I'll put my grapes in the basement. Store them down here. Do I have 15 yet? Uh, I don't have 15 just yet. I need 15 to be able to create some more uh, buckets of grape juice, which I can then ferment and make good wine. Top quality wine. Top quality wine. For whatever you may need. Because I think I need to bring 10 bottles of wine to the guards at the top of the Witch Hill to proceed with that part of the storyline. Oh, I need peats. I did not. I did not grab compost. I need to get com compost. Gotta grab me some compost. Let me grab me some... Nope, can't pass through there. Ugh. And I got a bunch of this stuff, so let's let's harvest. Let's harvest the Darvistin, friends! I gotta go pick up more seeds. I don't really have enough seeds right now. Apparently, there comes a point where I can automate all this stuff with zombies. I should look at zombies next. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Look at that. But I will definitely be looking into zombies at some point. That's awesome. Let's put some of this stuff in here. Put the carrots in there for now. Put this, not the grape seeds, not the grape seeds. Wheat seeds we'll put in there. Carrot seeds we'll put in there. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? All these seeds. 
Put you in there, put you in there. And put you in there. Le, 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 le. Love it. Now I got all this hemp. Oh, and I got wheat too. There we go. I gotta put that in the proper place. Uh, let's put the hemp in there for now. Actually, I know I know where to put hemp now, so I can actually bring that into the church basement. Because the church basement is where I can create rope, and I use hemp for rope. I'll put the seeds in there, then I can pick up the crop waste, then I can put the crop waste away. Uh, I should be able to take the carrots out. Or let's, let's put the... Put all the peat down there. Replant everything while I can. Replanting things is good. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Yeah, I definitely need more seeds. I gotta get more seeds. Not enough seed in my diet. Oh, that was wheat seed. What about any of these guys? Any of these guys? Any of these guys? Wheat seed, and that's all the wheat seed we got. And I need at least three pieces of peat for the. Not a hundred, please. I don't need that many. I need at least three for the grape. The grape vineyards. The vineyard. It's just the vineyard, not the vineyards. There is only one. And it is mine. It is my vineyard. I'm going to put some of my construction equipment away. So I have make space for all the hemp that I'm going to put in my stuff in my pocket. Iron parts. Iron there, there. Put that in there. Put the marble in there. Or, it's not marble. It's not marble. It's just stone. It's just stone that looks really, really nice. What else can I build here? Place for an apple tree? Place for a ber the berry bush? The berry bush. The berry bush. I need the berry bush. I need a bush berry seedling or these seedlings. I have no idea where to get that. Remove? Can I remove? What can I... No, that, that's fine. That That's okay. I don't have any seedlings yet, so that's that's all we're going to get then. Where can I buy seedlings? I wonder if I could buy that for the farmer. That that would make sense. That, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Take the carrots with me. I'm gonna take all the hemp with me. I don't need the crop waste. I'll keep the seeds here. Don't know what to do about maggots. You know what? Fuck it. Take take as many maggots as I can. Let's put the uh I don't know why I had the chisel in here. Let's put the let's keep the carrots in here. That's fine. And that'll take the maggots with me. Uh I also have the flitches too, apparently. Or the the wedges. Wedgie, wedgie, wedgies. I did not put those away. I was meaning to do that. Let's put that away. Put it... Oh, it's completely filled up. That's why. Hmm. Um, I will have to take care of that. Let's go put them thing downstairs. First, and then later. Yeah, okay. The hexagon... The hexagon shelves are a fair size, and the pins work nicely above smaller trinkets that you put in the nooks. Each panel is around 13 inches across. None of them are perfect, so it varied just a little bit, and the shelves are about 5 inches deep. That's like... That's about that deep. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. The unit itself had no backs, so the panels didn't eat into the shelf space too much. It is neat how this game has definitely given itself more of a niche than spooky Stardew Valley cousin. It feels more about what you can do, which Stardew Valley is more about town living. Got big? No worries. I got the second screen over here to read it from. But yeah, I completely, I completely vibe with that. I really like the idea with the hexagon. It was good. I like that. The hexagon shelves. If I... Gosh, if I if I had more confidence in putting nails in the wall, I would totally put up more shelving space. Although I got I got plenty of space back there. I could put things on top of it. It'll be great. It's just fine. I'm gonna keep all these maggots in this chest over here. I wanna take mm, okay, I wanna put the maggots over here. Uh, preferably I put all this alchemical stuff over there. I need to do a little bit of sorting. Alright, let's see. For now. I'm gonna put all this nasty bits. Uh, let's put here all the stuff in there because that's the scroll shelf. We get scrolls for that. Um, let's put, let's put, let's put. We'll take you, 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 and then we'll put all the maggots in here. Then we'll take you, you, you. We'll move you over to the alchemy shelf. Yeah, that, that seems right. I like that. Gotcha. I'm gonna go back over here. Ah, uh, the goo isn't in there. That's good. We don't need the goo in there. We can put... 
You can put things in it. Let's put you, 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 and you uh, all in the alchemy chest. I would also like to put the pen and ink and feather and stuff in the scroll shelf because that seems most appropriate. Because that's also where the writing utensils go. But this is all alchemy stuff. And that. Perfect. Um, that's eventually going to run out of space, I'm sure. And then I'll just build another one. Now let's also put the inks and stuff. There we go. Oh, and the feather. Don't forget the feather. Don't forget the feather. I don't know why I have baked mushrooms in here, but those are definitely mine now. Red flowers. Yeah, these are things that I take apart. Zombie juice technically is alchemy, but I'll keep that over here because it's a finished product. I'll do that. I like that. Put... Nope, these all go over here. Put it in there. Put it there! There, and there, and there. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now I can go back up to the service and take some more shiz out of the drawers. Got some places to put them. Got better places to put them. And also, I don't need an extra tool. I can just... Maybe I can sell it. Maybe I can sell the shovel. I'll have to give that a shot. Alright. Spare shovel, you're coming with me. This keeper's key can go in the basement. Um, the glass will stay up here. Whetstone will stay up here. All this stuff. The bee, I don't think, needs to stay here. This certainly doesn't need to stay here. Bucket of water. I, I don't know why I even have that. I don't need that. You know, oh, we'll keep it for selling purposes. I might sell it. Maybe somebody will buy it. I'll bring myself downstairs. I'm going to queue up a bit of rope to be made because I have a lot of hemp. I have a lot of hemp. I got lots and lots of that. I wonder if that can be distilled into something. I haven't researched it yet. Is zombie juice the fluids from a zom or what makes zoms? To be honest, I have no idea yet. I just randomly got that from something. It can be crafted at the zombie alchemy workbench, so I am assuming that it creates zombies. Potentially. Although, anybody's guess is as good as mine for now. I don't want to pass the keeper's key down here. Not just yet. Can I, can I decompose anything here? Is there anything I have yet to research? No. What about the hemp? The hemp? I have not studied the hemp yet. You have to study the hemp. Take the hemp. I wonder... Mm, how much faith do I need for that? Hopefully not a lot. Only a little. Uh, I need four. What about cabbage? I can study. And beets? Uh, I guess I'll study cabbage. Cabbage it is then. Yay, it can be made into flour. Oh, um, powder and fluid. Very cool. I got these other pieces that I gotta keep. Put the hemp away. Don't have enough faith to research the hemp. That's okay. Let's queue some of them up for rope making. Never know when you might need rope. Like, 50 pieces of rope. You never know. So mildly less cannibal Capri Suns, maybe. Mildly less. Mildly less. Maybe. We don't know yet. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Zombies are apparently the way that you automate things in this game. So, we will be making zombies. That is definitely on the list of things to do. I'll put my rope in here. Don't know how much rope I'll need. Or anything, really. Now I can throw some of my belongings back up into the chest up here. I'll make my way over to the town and try to see if I can sell the shovel of mine. Because I don't need it. Don't need the shovel. Put the... You go in there. Oh, the stone can go in there. The chisel can go in there. Okie dokie. I'll make my way over to my vineyards where I will plant the grape seeds that I have yet remaining. With the three pieces of compost. And then we shall continue. We're halfway to the end of the week. We're getting there. We're getting there. Gonna be a little bit of a late one tonight, but that is okay with me. I am having a wonderful time. Put the put the peat in. I'll put the gold ones down here. Top notch, top notch. Those ones there, and those ones there. What's eat here right now? Technically, I don't I don't know what to do with this polar station. I really I don't know what these polar stations do. Build? Can I build anything else? More vine trellis or trunks? Hmm. Oh yes. Our wife is going to be so concerned if Protag does ever get back to her. Oh my goodness, yes. He'll come back and he'll be like, he'll be like, Yo, so I was in this, I was in this other world and I was a graveyard keeper and I was like, I was like, I was like digging up dead bodies and stuff like that. She'll be like, that, you're crazy. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, 
I forgot. Yeah, I think does my my character has a wife? Gee, I think my character has a partner of sorts. Back home, probably. I definitely did not mean to send myself home. I was trying to go to the town, but alas, here we go. We did it. What else do we have to craft? Crafty, crafty, crafties. There's more alchemy to be done. Let's put myself in the basement and do some alchemy. I have more things that I can distill. I want to do more distilling, but I don't know. What else do I have for distilling purposes? I think the maggots can be distilled. I want to distill some maggots. Maggots can be distilled? Hell yeah, they can. I don't want all of them. Or you know what? Ah, uh, no, let's do... Half of them. Why not? 50 maggots. 50 maggots go into a distillation tube. What comes out? Stuff. Oh, can I only do one? I can only do one at a time? Oh, that is so annoying. I guess I'll need zombies for that. That's so, that's so annoying. You know what? How, how do zombie do? How does I zombie? Oh, there's technology for that, isn't there? Zombies? 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 Maybe in faith? You gotta have faith for zombies, right? The smell of faith. Resurrecting the dead. Anything? What about over here? Anything? Second chance. A resurrection table. I already had the resurrection table. Zombie logistics. Oh, that's what the porter stations are for. Oh. oh. I can make a distillation cube too? That's cool. You know, I can do that. I need more blue points for that. So I do have the resurrection table, or I should be able to make that. Let's go to the other part of the basement and see what I need to create one of those bad boys. That's awesome. I want to resurrect dead bodies. I even have one on the table. Resurrection table. Four of those and the other ones. Yes. Perfect. Uh, but we need to go into town. Gotta try to go into town. Gotta go into town. Dead horse. Town. Can I sell y'all anything? Sell, sell, sell? Trade? Want anything? Nope. Not selling that to you. No way, Jose. You're not getting that. You're not getting my beats. Beats are mine. Yo! I feel. Dead horses. Don't beat them. It's like beating a dead horse. <laughs> Can I sell you my thing? No, I cannot. It is as good as dead to me. No, I don't want to... I don't want the shovel. I do not want this shovel. I want... I do not want the shovel. I want to get rid of it. Why can I not destroy the shovel? That seems like a waste. Gosh. All right, make your way back to sweet home. I'm going to put the key in this chest up here. I, I don't know what to do with it. Here, key items over here. What else is in here? That shouldn't be in here. I got... I got... Take all these things. I don't know why this is all up here. Shouldn't be up here. Put that there. Put the shovel in there, too. Don't want the shovel. These should be going down here. Into my goodies chest. Now the maggots go in their own location. And then... Resurrection table. That's what I was going to do. That's what I needed to do. Resurrection table. So I'm going to make my way back up to Sweet Home. Uh, I think I need... Four rectangles. And complex iron parts. This will be great. Yeah, that's what I need. I need complex iron parts and insulin. kind of stuff. There's some complex iron parts. Let's make... How many do I already have? How many complex iron parts do I already have? 13. Yeah, I don't need any more. How many of these wooden planks do I have? Two? I definitely need more. So let's make more. More wooden planks, please. Wooden planks. Hey, let's make a bunch of them. That'd be great. I mean, as good as dead is pretty good for our guys' needs. It's true. We don't even need much more than that. So long as they're, like, not breathing when they get onto my table, I don't think I have any room for complaints. Maybe. Resurrection table. Where's it gonna go? Uh, down here, then. All right, right near the board. Right down there. Yeah! Awesome! Man, we've gotten so much done today. Especially on the alchemical front. Oh, I need more energy. There we go. Now, I need to put a body on the table. Let's take this body. It's not a very good body. You put him on the table. Cannot resurrect. The body is rotten. Oh. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm throwing this guy into the ground then. Oh, well. Looks like we didn't need him. But can confirm, zombie juice is made to create zombies, not to absorb from them. Hi, Anna. Welcome back. Okay, that didn't work. Ooh, I did it. Let's move my wooden logs over to the place. Oh, wait a minute. What is this down here? What's this blueprint down here? I can put trunks down here. That's cool. For some reason. Why can't I go down there yet? I want to go down there. I want to be where the people are. Down there in the chasm. It looks so cool. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing. What is this down here? The rocks? Hey, rocks. I love rocks. Polished stone. That's not polished. I need more stones for my collection of stones. What is this? Seems like a very. This rock here seems important. But never mind that. Let's go dig up shit from the ground. Yeah. Green points. Love green points. And uh, can I go down here? Nope. It's all blocked off. Definitely an area I'm not at yet. You know, there was a there was a lady in the swamp that I needed to give stuff to. Right? What was your name? Claw though. Grow a silver star pumpkin and help the witch restore her memory. Grow a silver star pumpkin. I do not have pumpkins. Sorry. No pumpkin for you. Find a stamp, sell meat to Horadric. I don't have a stamp yet. I need to buy that from the noble people. Fish fillets, moths to the lighthouse keeper. I don't have any moths yet. Quality fish fillets. 30 points in the graveyard. I can do that. I can do that. I am going to go back up to the quarry and make a bunch of grave markers. Because that will significantly improve the quality of my graveyard ever so slightly. To the point where we'll get to 30 and then on when it gets to 30 on Sunday, I would be able to tell the bishop how wonderful my graveyard is. It'll be awesome. Put that in there. Put the couple of Spartans in there. Put the beans back inside. Beets. Oh, I don't have any space for things here. I need more meat. If I had more meat, I could make more sandwiches. I need to grab all the stone that I've got. Grab the stone and grab the chisel too. Uh, piece of stone. Piece of stone, piece of stone, piece of stone, piece of stone. What's I got a piece of stone? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I, can I make this chest bigger? Can I make another chest? I want another food chest. Household utensils wet. Uh, oh, actually. Oh, this is so cool. There are so many other customizable options. That's cool. Um, do I have a cupboard? Oh, I need... I don't know. I can totally do that. Updated cooking table? Let's grab some nails, flitches, boards, and the like of it. And upgrade indoors. Um, complex iron parts. Let's grab some nails. Let's grab some simple iron parts. Let's grab these wooden planks. Let's grab some flitches. Let's go back inside and see what I can make. To improve things. Let's see about an updated cooking table. That sounds excellent. All right. I can only place it there. Sweet. Now I have an upgraded cooking table. Updated. Updated. Updated cooking table. What does that do? This is literally no different than the other table. Alrighty then. If the witch has memory issues, do we want to take bets on if she is the actual Greek fate? Honestly? Maybe. Honestly, it seems, it seems though, that she might have been, uh, also apparently used to be like a beautiful lady when she wasn't a witch. Although I feel like most witches often are. Let's make a cupboard. I want a cupboard. Oh, I have a, Wait, 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 wait. What just happened? Was that not always there? Wait. What am I doing? Cupboard? Cupboard? Did I do it? Did I did I build the cupboard? I built the cupboard. Wait, what was the point of that? Is this a cupboard? What what was that all about? Is this my cupboard? This is a chest. 
Where's my cupboard at? I am very confused. I don't know what just happened there. Alright, uh, anyway. Can I make gelatin without a fridge? I can make jelly! And I guess it's because slime itself is... Already has that jello-like consistency that all the kids love. Ugh. I'm gonna make more space for my stuff here. I'm gonna just take out a cabbage. I don't need all these cabbages. I don't need all these carrots either. But let's make... Let's make a bunch of cooked carrots. Carrot cutlets. Yeah. Let's make a shit ton of carrot cutlets. Oh, yes. That's perfect. 200 carrot cutlets coming right up. Perfect. Beets, cabbages, now I can fit all in there. And the wheat. And the honey. Perfect. Now I'm gonna make my way to the quarry. Oh, I need to sleep. They don't have the quarry. Oof. My headphones have formed a very moist area around my ears. Ugh. I can feel everything gushing. Tobias, you don't have ears, so you don't feel the dreariness of headphones, do you? No, you do not. No, Tobias does not. Wow, look at all those carrot cutlets. I am going to ignore those for now. Off to the quarry. We're off to see the quarry. La 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 la. Put the iron chisel in there. I'm just going to grab a bunch of stone and make a bunch of stuff. Easy. Whack. Whack. Whacking away. Whacky, 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 whacking away. Gonna whack some stone. Cause that is what we do. We're gonna wax stone and break it into pieces. Well, now that I have all those, I just realized I don't have the proper pieces of wood to get more. Back to sweet home for a hot sec. Just the hot one. Can I have these, please? Yeah, I'll take those. Wooden wedges. Can I make more wooden wedges? More wooden wedges, please. Please? Please? Anything, please. More wooden wedges? Thank you. Oh, I need more billets. To me, more billets. I need more wood. Oh, God, I need more wood. Ah! Are any spare pieces of wood up here? Anybody? Anybody got wood? No? There's definitely wood around here somewhere. Hi-yo. Piece of wood. Hey-yo. More pieces of wood. Hi-yo. Yeah, please don't touch me. Please don't. Nope. No, no, no. Don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate it. Nope. Don't touch. Touching is not allowed. Did not... Not allowed. Not allowed. No touchy. No touch. None of that shit. You gotta get consent first for that. You know what I'm saying, Graveyard Keeper? You know what I'm saying, Tobias? It's all about consent, man, right? You're damn right. Anyway, let's make some billets. Billets and then a bunch of f wedges. Wedges are good. Wedges are good. Let's make like 40 wedges. Technically, did not need that many billets. But now we got it. And honestly, isn't that what living's all about? Procuring goods and services? These wood wedges, they are goods. And perhaps we can exchange them for services. Potentially. Not today, but one day. Quarry. Now I can get more stone from the stone. Stone, stone. Might as well throw a bunch of them there. Yeah, let's queue that up. I don't know. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's queue up a bunch of marble. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever use marble. I don't know if I need marble right now. I don't think I actually do, but we got it. Just in case, we're prepared. Ah, oh, gotta eat some. One, two, three, four, five. Mmm, tasty, tasty. All the stone you could possibly ask for. Get out of the way. Well, while we're all experiencing the stoning... What else is going on in the world? What else is going on in the world right now? Any any natural disasters? Any terrible things happen in the world recently? You know what? Actually, let's not think about that for a bit. Let's let's focus on the happy. What good things happened in the world? Huh. Very interesting. Can't seem to come up with anything good that's happened in the world recently. I get paid tomorrow. That's a good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. By the way, my apologies when I just kind of like put my face up all against the camera. The camera's not very good and oftentimes I need to readjust myself in my chair. So I do oftentimes go back and forth. I'm out of energy. 
Let's keep going. So oftentimes, I will completely readjust myself. Oh, my headphones are running out of battery. Wow, look at that. That, like, literally never happens. I have not had to plug these headphones in since I got them. Wow. Time to plug myself into the Matrix. Awesome. Oh, it's currently in a... That's a very... Uh, this is a very unfortunate position. I just... I recently, like, changed up the way that my... Like, the orientation of my wires, so... It's over there. It's okay. It's okay. But the wire is kind of up against my neck, un unfortunately. And rather uncomfortably, too. I'll have to fix that. Now that I know that this is a possibility, I'm gonna have to fix that. Did I just not... Did I just not plug in my headphones recently? I guess I'll plug them in tonight. Obviously. Now I got all this stone. Put all the rest of this stone up on here for next time. And now I'm going to use all the effort that I possibly can do to make a bunch of stone headstones and stone, like, gates or whatever. I don't know. Let's make fences. They're fences. They're fences. Let's see. I can make... I can use 24 for each of them. So let's do it. I don't know exactly how much energy that this make takes a lot of energy. Wow. These are gonna be some pretty freaking awesome graves. I'm telling you. They're gonna be beautiful. And there's gonna be a shit ton of them. Time to eat sandwiches. There's so much time for sandwiches. I am also losing energy very quickly because I am tired. Apparently that's the that's the consequence. But if I just keep on eating stuff, I think I'll be okay. Now I got all these things. That'll be wonderful. And then I'm gonna make the headstones too. Hopefully. We'll see how much effort. I don't exactly know what happens if I run out of energy before I'm like while I'm sleepy. Like I don't know if I'll like pass out or something. It's very possible that I will. Did I really have enough space in all in my inventory for all of those fences? Or do they stack? Because I thought previously headstones and stuff don't stack. Oh, I finally ran out of space. All of my sandwiches were preparing me for this point to upgrade my graveyard to the topmost level. I also have basically run out of sandwiches, but I have a bunch of... Oh, but you know... Even though I'm out of sandwiches, I've got a bunch of carrot cutlets that I've made. That's perfect. That is going to be awesome. Alright, those are all made. I have all these in my inventories. So I'm gonna make my way back to Sweet Home. Sweet Home. And I guess I'll sleep. Sleep for a little bit. I don't know exactly how much I need to sleep, but I snapped for a little bit. Am I still tired? I'm so refreshed! I'm not tired at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Make my way to the graveyard. I'm gonna fill up on sandwiches. Basically, every single fence that I have that's currently made out of wood... I'm gonna make it out of stone. All these ones over here? Stone. It's gonna be stone. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be stone. Like this guy. Let's get this... Get this grave out of here. Get out of here. We don't want it. Let's put this guy on it. Yeah, but... Everything looks beautiful on this beautiful day in the graveyard. No one can hear you scream, except for the dead, but they don't have ears. I mean, technically, they still have ears, but they can't hear you because they're not really working. Or something about that. <laughs> you know, who knows? Unless the dead are zombies, in which case, they can totally hear you. Graveyard colonies of 28. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be so good. This is such a good idea. Man, I, I, gosh, we managed to accomplish so many things. The graveyard looks perfect and wonderful. The, um... Uh, the alchemy's all set up. All of the alchemies. Um, gosh, so many good things. So many wonderful things. What a wonderful world. I wonder what I can do with these fences, though. Like, they just kind of sit around. I don't know if I can, like, dismantle them or anything. Technically, this one doesn't really benefit from the fence, but it's fine. It's fine. Some of these guys could definitely benefit. Some of them can definitely benefit from a little more pizzazz. 
Oh, that doesn't that doesn't do. Yeah, that's a bad body in there. That's a bad body. This will give me one more, or rather, no negatives. That'll be good. Let's check the other ones that actually need it. Um, you you could use more. If I if I give you one, you will actually give me the stuff. That'll be good. It's like a there's an interesting system at play here. Like those little wreaths, if they go above the uh the, above the red, then you get points, plus points. And you want to have plus points, no minus points. I mean, I guess it's okay to have minus points. But like something like this, the skull, you can only have as many points as the skulls above the red. So upgrading this fence wouldn't really do me any good because there's only one skull. This guy upgrading the fence would be very nice. Because that'll increase the, the goodness. Technically, upgrading the fences and stuff anyway is fine. Because, you know, eventually, eventually I'll have to, I'll put better bodies in there. I like this concept. The, 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 the whole, like, keeping of the graveyard thing, like, at first, like, just did not click with me. And I was like, what the heck is this game? This just feels... I, I don't get it. But totally makes sense to me now. Totally making sense to me now. This guy here also won't necessarily benefit from the vents, but... I'm cool with it. Now let's replace some of these headstones. You could benefit from a new headstone. Whoa, why is it... Oh, it's Sunday now. It's Lord's Day! Let's remove this gravestone and put a better headstone on there. Better, better headstone. I know I have better bodies too. What about you? You, you would benefit. You got, you got a better, you got a nice body. You nice body. Body gonna be the best. Let's eat uh, this thing. Yum. More shrooms. You could benefit from this as well. Nice. There we go. And then when the bishop gets here tomorrow. He'll be so freaking impressed. I wonder if I can sell any of these. I really don't know. In the meantime, I'm just going to put them all in this chest because I don't have space for them. Can I? I can put money in here? No way. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I can study these things, apparently. Can I build another chest? I could. That was really... Mm. I'll make my way up to the quarry. Put some other things in the... Ch I don't know. I'll put some things up here. I got spare space for it. And then I'll sleep up here. Bring these gravestones back. I'll do a little bit of an exchange. I'll sleep. I wonder if the heads basically mean how many... How much people who are still around cared about them. And how often they visit with the nicer setup. Potentially. I know... I know the redness... I think has to do with the character of the individual, and if they got a lot of red skulls that you were just a really shitty person, or you were like a murderer or something. No, please wake up. Please wake up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, you silly man! Thank you. Thank you for waking. Your, your waking is good. Yeah, cutlets. I'm throwing most of the- Wow, I did not realize I could only hold 25 of these. Interesting. That's- that's a hell of a lot of carrots. That actually did not fix my carrot problem. I now have even less inventory space than I did before. Wow. That's incredible. I guess I'm going to keep some carrot cutlets in the bottom of my bed. I only want 25, please. Please? Please only 25? That is going to be just fine for me. Thank God. That is okay. Gee, <laughs> wow. All right, I'm done with these for now. Take these down, down here. And I get to talk to the preacher man. Actually, this is the only person I've talked to in a while. Because I actually really haven't made any, like, quest progress at all. Interesting. Let me swap out all these guys. Let me take these ones out. And put the headstones in there. They'll be prepped and ready for next. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can sell these. I probably can. I just don't know who to sell them to. Can I sell them to you? Can I trade with you? No, I can't sell those to you. I can just buy, buy cookies from you? The graveyard's looking good, right? I hope the graveyard is meeting the high standards of your holiness. Oh yes, I'm no longer even I'm disgusted to be here. Now just maintain it on its level to upgrade the church. Oh really? I can upgrade the church? That's cool. But I still can't sell you anything. That is rather unfortunate. Crazy. What an ass. 
Uh, like the sinful bodies thing. I remember now. Lots of inner workings here. There are a lot. And apparently, and I just realized this last stream, that when you remove pieces from the body, there's a chance that it'll make it better, and sometimes not. I think there's probably like some hidden attributes there that I have yet to figure out. You're gonna have an excellent eyesight. Wink! Excellent because of all those carrots! They're good for your eyes. That's... That's the implication. Anyway, time to have another church service. Church! I think now that I've got this whole graveyard thing going on here, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna replace as many headstones as I possibly can, see how high up we can get our grave thing, our, our graveyard uh, ranking, and that'll be it. And that's where we'll end it for the evening, but only after this is all, after we do that. That'll be it. Let us pray for the blessing! Pray, pray for the, play for the, pray for the blessing, not play for the blessing. No, no. Nice. Your donations are welcome. Thank you all. Thank you all for your faith and your donations. Donations for the charge. Boom. Boom. Now I can put all my sermon stuff away. None of that. None of that, please. Faith? I use that for research purposes. Because apparently I need faith for the research. To be fair, most of the money I've been making is from this church. That's awesome. Uh, do I have a... Okay, I have all the grave markers in here. I need to figure out what to do with these fences. I'm gonna go back to Sweet Home. And just kind of put them all in here for now. I don't know what to do with these. I don't know what to do with them. Eventually, I will figure it out. But not today. Eventually. Oh my god, more carrots. God, there's so many carrots. What do you do with a soggy carrot? What do you do with a soggy carrot? What do you do with a soggy carrot? Put it in the boiler. Or, or rather, boil it. Don't put it in the boiler. I don't know how your heat heating system would function with carrots in the boiler. Um. Yeah, so there's that. How many stone gravestones do I even have? I guess I got a few of them. See, now this needs a better body. So this could use a better cross. Yeah, yeah. All right. I like that. I like that. I mean, if I have an excess of gravestones, which it seems like I do, I'm just going to upgrade them all. See, you wouldn't benefit much from that. You all might. You will benefit. Yep, you'll benefit. I'm sure there'll be another, like, um, graveyard prestige milestone that I'll have to get to. And then it'll be better. Why are you down there? Oh, did this only add two? Oh, this adds two and that adds two. Oh, I didn't actually realize that. They're all worth the same? Oh. Oh, well, I didn't realize that at all. I'm actually not improving anything at all. I don't think I did. Did I improve anything? You have two, and mine gives also two? Maybe you're at 34 now, and then I put the thing on there, right? And we're back to 36. Wow, that didn't help at all. That's so funny. Interesting. I did not have to make any of those. Well, anyway, I guess in that case, I'm going to put all this stuff back into here. And uh, put my story in the basement. And I think... I think that'll be it for me this evening. That's, that's all I got. That's all I got. Honestly, I was even struggling to figure out what I wanted to do this time. I was like, uh, I guess I'll just upgrade the graveyard. But we wound up finding other things along the way. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful world we live in. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So that's all I've got, everybody. It was an absolute blast being able to chat along with all y'all and have a good time as per the usual. It's I usually have a very good time in these scenarios. Everybody, thank you. Thank you kindly for indulging me. Maybe material is more about how long it can go without the repairs if a stone costs more than wood. I'm actually inclined to agree on that. I, I feel like, although the stone, uh, to be perfectly fair, the wooden ones haven't, haven't like, like they haven't gone down in a while. But you do have to repair the fences and you do have to repair the headstones every once in a while. That's, that's what I know about that. And those will be my closing thoughts for now. Everybody, I want to thank you once again so much for coming along and enjoying the adventure. We'll be sticking with Graveyard Keeper for a bit. It's just until I can get some more schedule stuff up and running. But in the meantime, I'm having a great time with this, and I enjoy everybody's presence, of course. Wherever you are, whoever you are, 
I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your evening, if it's your evening, your morning, if it's your morning. No matter what time zone you're in, the party must continue wherever we are. Thank you all so very much, and have a wonderful rest of your everything. Peace out, y'all.